am I am going to be ending the live at around 2. So um that's why stuff is getting kind of weird. I had to like handle a bunch of stuff. Today has just been terrible. Absolutely terrible. All right. But today we are going to be talking about abortion chat. So yeah, if you are pro-life and you believe that abortion is wrong, go ahead and hop into the guest request number. We are just looking for some debates, you guys. But if you are here to support me, go ahead and double tap. And if you do want to support me even more, my cash app and my Venmo's in the bio if you want to support me that way, because I get 100% of the proceeds over there. Uh, I'm lagging again. 2 p.m. Yeah, Eastern Standard. I am on Eastern Standard Time. But yeah, we already got some people in the guest what we got so far. Hi, how old are you? 44. Cool. So are you pro-life or pro-choice? I'm pro-life. Okay, so cool. So why is that? Uh, first of all, let me say, uh, hey, I do support you. I like the shit you talk about on here. I think you're cool. I just, uh, this this particular subject is probably the one of the only ones that me and you disagree on. You last time on your chat, you talked about, uh, you know, wanting to adopt a kid, right? Lynn, thank you for the $30 cash app already. Thank you so much. Um, and I'm going to cash app you too. So I just want to. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I, I'm going to. Ca- I'm sorry. I got to fix my Wi-Fi. Go ahead. Oh, it's okay. No, no, no. And this is the most of the shit that you talk about on here. I think it's interesting. I think you have a lot of shit that you've done your homework on and have a lot of sources and things that we commend you on that. But as far as this goes, you know, somebody that's trying to adopt a kid, how do you adopt a kid if you're killing off all of them? Um, well, we definitely aren't killing off all of them. Um, if like, I, I, I don't see what you mean by that, but if you think that that's wrong, then you're going to think that like, be like pulling out is wrong. Um, revoking consent during sex is wrong. Right. Um, if we ought to be having children every time we have sex, um, you're going to have to hold to a lot more things than you no, agree with. I, I think that's the, I think that's the irresponsible part of everybody is not being responsible in the way I don't think you should have a baby every time you have sex. I don't want to have a baby every time I have sex. You know what I'm saying? Which is why I have the babies I have because I meant to make them. They weren't accidents, you know? Uh, but as far as, uh, you know, having this problem that's rampant, people having kids when they shouldn't be having kids, kids having kids. I mean, uh, yeah, but, but I you're still pro life though. You're saying, yeah, but I don't believe, yes, I am. I don't believe in, No. That's exactly what it would be. No, I'm I'm for you made your bed, lying it. Exactly. So you want kids to have kids. No. That's what that would imply. No, it's a bad choice. So, so kids, so kids should be able to get abortions then. It's a bad choice. So kids should be able to get abortions then. I think that you should be financially responsible before you do anything like that, so that the kid has a better a better experience in life than 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 i mean because that's the goal right with kids trying to give them a better life than what you had right if you're not financially responsible you're going to put through that yeah so why do you why do you want irresponsible parents to have children it seems like you care you don't care about the actual life and the well-being of the child you care about more punishing people that you feel morally superior to no, I don't want to punish anybody. I just that's, that's what you said. You said they made they, you said that they made their bed and they should lie in it. But that's self inflicted. I'm not punishing them. They're punishing themselves. But you think that they ought to they ought to suffer that. Mm, I think that for like, this people isn't this isn't about this like what you're saying right now is is it's not about bettering uh the person's life. It's not about caring about the child's life. It's about you feeling like morally superior to them and you wanting them. Uh, to have a child as a punishment. You don't actually, I don't, like, do you see children as like human beings with their own subjective experience? Now, what or, I'm saying is that if you kill off that kid, how do you adopt one? Yeah, so what is the definition of a kid? 
a child in general. What I'm saying is that no, if you, but child the kid, child implies before the sub- kid. Before wait, wait the one kid. second, one second. Child oh. implies subjective experience, right? Because I'm pretty sure you wouldn't hold to this either. If if you were in a burning building and you could only and there was two rooms <laughs> with two living beings in it, you can only save one. There's thirty zygotes in one room and a crying three year old in the other. Which one are you saving? You can only save one. You made this point last time. I love this about you. And you, you always, should, and you should answer it. No, no, no. What, what I'm saying? Why, why, why? And you, and you should compare, answer it. You're comparing apples and oranges. You can compare fruit. So, can you go ahead and answer this question? I'd save whatever I could. No, you can only save one. You have. You I can only save one. You have equal opportunity to save one. Thirty zygotes in one room, a crying child in the next. Which one? The the one that I was closer for me to get out of there was no. They're both equally close. I don't know why people like you keep like not engaging. People like me? Up. Yeah. What because do you mean people like me? Be- Pro lifers like you who decide to not engage in the hypothetical. Who who are, who are you saving, you baby Bob? Who are you saving? I'm saving the three year old. Yes. The three year old. I don't I don't care if there were five million zygotes in the other room. I'm saving the three year old. You're saving the baby then. Good job. So go ahead and answer the question one. I, I'm, I'm with you. Okay. So you've so yeah. So even you yourself, you have a contradiction within your view. You do not see zygotes as children. You value the the child more than the zygotes. You do not even I'm, see I'm them gonna, as children. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to be honest with you. All that zygote shit and all that, you know, for the crying child. I don't see. OK, difference. In... You do though, because you'd pick one over the other. Well, everybody has a so, choice. Okay, okay, so, so like, okay, so how about this? You have an option to leave both of them to die. What are you? What are you gonna do? Well, saving one or the other is what makes us human, doesn't it? One, I don't need like again. This is disingenuous bullshit. Answer the question. You have five zygotes on the left hand equally as you do a crying child on your right you can only save one you only have time to save one or you could leave both of them to die you're asking what a are question you going that to do one? your point what are you it literally doesn't it this one yeah, it literally prove, does no no one you can actually bite the bullet here and it, it oh, can so prove your point everybody die. you can prove your point right now right go ahead answer answer the question yeah, it's. <laughs> if you can't answer the question, then I'm just gonna have to go on to the next person. This is going. To, this is going to be a disingenuous argument. I think you know the answer. Well, let's, 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 hey, Juan, hey. Juan, one second. I'm saying I think, Juan, you know the answer to this question, but you know that it's going to disprove your entire worldview. Which one's more alive? Yeah, you choose. That's all for well, you. I'm That's asking you. you. No, Juan. That's for you to decide. These well, are obviously the crying, to... obviously, obviously the crying baby. Right. So which is, one are you, which one are you going to save? Choice. Are you going to save one, or are you going to leave both to die? Answer the question, one. These all the questions you ask all the questions you were about to ask me are questions that you need to ask yourself before you save one of the, one of the two. I the cannot leave life to die. So you're going to wait for all three of you to burn. No, what I said is I'm not going to leave Juan, life behind. To die. Juan, I'm just going to like go on to the next person. If you uh, there's no way you genuinely think that this is a coherent answer. It's not. It's not. It's well, according not. to you. No, because one, what is the definition of life? <sighs> Oh, here we go with this fucking. Here we go with this. Hey, you, well, you talk uh, about how you like my stuff. You somebody, obviously know what the fuck somebody. going on. So define life. Are you I know keeping that skin cells alive? Child, I know that the crying no, child is alive. Just one second. Just one second. I know that. Are, your, are your skin cells alive? Of course they are. Right. So when you take a shower, are you committing genocide? Here we go. You said the same shit last time. Then you should be able to answer it. Bro, but we're taking you like a I lot said, of, I haven't done this topic in a week, so you've had a lot of time to really think it over. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. It just, so when it, you take a shower, are you committing genocide? When you comb your hair, are you pulling your hair out? One, answer are the you? question. Answer are you? the question. 
Of course you are, but I mean, am I supposed so to when I take a shower? shower? So wait a minute. So when I take a shower, I'm committing genocide. So all of us in this live, right? All of the 1.2 thousand people in this live, we're all mass on alivers. Really? That's the point you're going to concede on. We're all hypocrites. No, it's just you, Juan. It's, it's just, just me? It's just, it's just you. No. And your lips look Juan, lovely. Juan, Juan, Juan. Stop fucking objectifying me. Don't play with me. I will, I will put you back in the fucking gulag. Have some goddamn decorum. Do you understand? I will, I will stay Do real. Do you then. understand, boy? Stay Damn. Fucking real, then, boy. Do you I'm understand? Not the boy. You okay, the boy. Then, then you need to act like a man. I'm acting like one. Do not fucking you, interrupt the conversation to fucking object. Don't do that. Don't do that. I will disrespect the fuck out of you. Don't do that. But you do that know all your the place. time. Know your fucking place, bro. You do that all the time, Have bro. some decorum. Have some Anytime fucking... Anytime anybody have wants some to... Decorum, okay, have some decorum, Juan. Have some decorum. I'll wait till you Have some decorum. Yeah, you will. Okay. You will. I will. Have some decorum. You understand? Do you understand? Am I supposed to talk now? Do you understand? Yes or no? I understand. Okay, good boy. Right. So, can you go ahead and answer <laughs> the question, please? <laughs> no wonder you, you don't can have Can you go anybody? ahead... Can you yeah, go ahead no and answer the question, please? I'm going to answer. I'm going to save the child, plain and simple. Wait, so, right. So why are you going to save the child over the 50 zygotes in the other room? Are they alive? Are they more alive than the kid? What do you mean by more alive? These are questions for you to determine. <laughs> Look, anytime anybody what is, has... What is more alive than another thing? Okay, okay. Are you going to interrupt me or are you going to let me talk? I'm asking you the question. What is? Are you going to interrupt because What, what, because what I determines to, what is more alive? Because I have to be quiet to let you talk. Oh, you're going to do that regardless. But like, I know what I'm, I'm just making okay, sure... Okay, but I'm talking we, now. Juan, what was my question? Well, I'm talking now. Can what I tell you something or not? Juan, Juan, what was my question? <laughs> what does exactly. more alive mean? Okay, good. Then answer that. Okay. Well, thank you for being quiet. Good girl. Uh, Never that. Yeah, I'm just saying. Well, obviously. Juan, Juan, this is this is pussy shit, dude. You can't. This is not. You're like 40. Okay. Take the catheter I, out your fucking neck. Simmer down. Okay. So I'll can you go ahead and baby. answer the question? No wonder nobody wants to make a baby with you. You're a fucking terrible person. You know that? But you like terrible. my content, though. Terrible. But you it's watch fucking my content, terrible. though. Yeah, no, 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 because you content, Jenny, hey, you're a fan. Like, like I said, like you're I said, fan, I like Juan. it. Like, you can't, you like came I up said, here. Juan, Juan, no, 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 Juan, Juan, you came up here. You're a fucking fan. You came up here glazing the shit out of me. Now I'm giving you the same energy that I give everyone else. And now you think what, what you think, girl, I don't even treat my own fucking supporters better than I treat other like be for real. I'm going to hold you to the same shit. Okay, so then, okay, so then, so then, simmer down, Wani. Simmer down. <laughs> simmer down. Okay. <laughs> simmer down. Uh, yeah, yeah. So go ahead and answer the question. What does it mean to be more alive? Well, obviously, the kid crying is more advanced in life than the zygotes, right? Okay, so, oh, you're talking about more advanced in life. So there's a fetus in one room, right? A born fetus and a three-year-old in the other. Which one are you saving? Uh, the, the crying baby, obviously. But, no, but the three-year-old is more advanced in life than the crying baby. Either way. You don't hold, a, so you don't hold, you don't, uh, you don't, hold, a, do you hold to it, this? It's an immoral question is what it is. No, it's Absolutely. not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, You're asking people to choose. I'm Are you testing your this logic, life, Juan. I'm or say this life. Or, I mean, either way, it's fucking wrong. Either, no matter how you slice it, Juan, it's wrong. Juan, I'm testing your logic. You said that the three-year-old's life is more advanced than the ones of of, of the zygotes because the child is three. Now, I don't, I don't think you actually hold to that. It's older. Right, so if you, you would save a three-year-old over a one-year-old in the same hypothetical, uh, or you, vice versa. This is all, this pattern of questioning is to, for you, you, uh, you don't to hold come to out what you're top. saying. No, no this I'm can't, just, this can't be the reason. Save one year old, it, are you going to save a three-year-old? Either way, one, one, one. You need, it's wrong. One, it's not about whether or not it's wrong. It's like, simmer down, bro. 
I'm saying you cannot, I don't think you hold to this logic of saying that you value the three-year-old more simply because it is older. Like for, again, I can ask you another one. Would you rather save a three-year-old than a 60-year-old? Same hypothetical, burning building, you can only save one. Which one are you saving? The 60-year-old under your worldview? It's wrong. I'm not asking whether or not it's wrong or right. I'm saving the three-year-old. 60 you have 60 years you've had 60 years to be on this earth the three-year-old deserves a chance to live its life okay cool so now let's go back again you're saving a one-year-old in comparison to a three-year-old which one are you saving whichever one's closest to me no why do you keep saying that they're both equally far away from you juan like critically think for what like for once in your life critically think I just fucking told you that they're both equally away from you. You can only save one genius. Do you understand? You yeah, can't I... fucking save both. Stop it. I will put you back in the fucking comments, bro. Stop play with me. <laughs> one year old in comparison to the three year old. Which one are you saving? I think you're a fucking three year old. That's what I think. You're the one who can operate. Yeah, you're the one who can't fucking talk right. You have to curse and be little people on here. You're fucking. You're, you're you can't talk right. right either. You have rasp in your voice, bro. Sip some and? water. Be fucking for real. And? All right. You were smoking That's 50 menthols a day. Let's, let's, let's sit people. down. Juan, you just fucking insulted me. Yeah, what are you talking you know, about? I people do it back you to you. You just insulted me. So, oh, wait, so when you insult me, I can't do it back? You don't like when people do it back to you. Huh, Popeye? Chill out. You, suck, you don't like when people do it back to you. When anybody I says love when people do it, here, but I can do it back. Anybody says anything on you, but, here I, can, you but I can do it back. Oh, though. I put you in the fucking comments and this but and I that. Can do this it. is the only because, thing. Because because one 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 like I don't I don't know why you're tweaking like this. You're literally a fan. You know I what the fuck is do. going on. <laughs> if anything. You keep saying how you've heard me make these arguments before. You've had a lot of time to come to conclusions. You've had, what, a week and a half since the last time I've done this topic? You have ample time to be able to answer these questions. And yet here you are, so let's square one. I know you don't think often. Go get you some spinach, okay? So here's the thing. Can you go ahead and answer the question, please? The last time I was on this shit was when Can I saw Can you me. answer the question, Juan? Yeah, I'm saving both. Yeah, so, uh, okay, all right. I'm, <laughs> okay. We're you got nice lips? No, we're just going to go ahead and block you. I nice don't lips? I don't, I don't care. Shitty my... Anyway, um, I'm just going to go ahead and block him. I don't care for irrational people. I'll save both. Are you, like... Anyway, hi, how old are you? Uh, I'm 32. Cool. So do you, are you pro-life or pro-choice? I'm kind of like caught between pro-life and abolitionist. Yeah. Uh, pro-life and ab abolitionist for what? Uh, abortion. So yeah, you're anti-abortion and anti-abortion. Why, why are you caught between the two? Well, no, it's just like, so the abolitionists would just outright illegal, like illegalize every aspect of abortion, like even criminally punishing the mother. Um, oh, you're a psychopath. For... So why why do you do that? Why do you hold this view? Well, uh, could you define psychopath for me? Uh, people who don't have um, any care for that of human life. Um, right. So what and about you, what and I you said it... makes me a psychopath? Right. So this would also factor in the life of like children. You would criminally charge children, criminally charge mothers who are raped. Right. Um, this is psychopath behavior. Right. So can you can you go ahead and um do that? Can you go ahead and like give like why okay. you, why you're in between so, the two? <clears throat> so I, that's part of it is I don't know that I would want to do that to the mother. So a little harsh to call me a psychopath when you haven't even heard my full position. But either way, um, I, I would just give a basic syllogism just to, to show why I think abortion is wrong. And so that would be that it's always wrong for a human being to take the life of an innocent human being. Abortion always always involves a human being taking the life of an innocent human being. Therefore, abortion is always wrong. She's trying hard to join the Harry and Parker Club. Bitch, do you have their number? Anyway, um, so uh, what do you what do you you said it's always wrong taking away the life of a human being. So what what constitutes that of a human being? 
Uh, just being that species of human. Yeah, so what constitutes that? Human cells? Just being the genetic makeup of a human being. So a human cell? So it, it wouldn't just be a, a human cell, right? To have the whole genetic makeup of a human at any what stage. Is the whole genetic, what is the whole genetic makeup of a human being that does not include that of a cell? What is a, well, is a cell not a whole genetic a makeup of a human being? There, a single cell organism isn't necessarily a human. A single cell human organism. So if it's a human, right? Like if it's just a single cell of a human, that in itself is not the human. Yeah, why not? Clearly there's a distinction between the two. So what's the distinction? What are the criteria? It is a part of a human. As a yeah, so what is the criteria that would make a human being that would make a cell not a human being? That's what I'm asking you. So like if we're looking at the mirological aspect, there's a relationship between the parts and the whole. So I'm specifically talking about the whole of a human being. Yeah, okay, so how do we constitute, like a whole of what? That a human being just constitute their, it being a multicellular organism? Carly, thank you so much for the one month extension. So like, do we not know that like one cell, for example, would not be a human being as a whole that would be a no I'm, I, no I'm talking being. I'm talking to you I know my stance I don't know if you know your stance so can two cells be a human then so it, it would depend like I, I don't know that I would know the exact amount of cells that a conceived human being at like the first moment of conception would have so if, if it's possible that two cells would constitute the entirety of a conceived human being then sure I, I just don't know the exact number of cells Right. So mm -hmm. why do you hold this view then if you don't know what would constitute that of a human being? Well, I, because that, at some point relevant. during conception, we are a single cell organism. You would not consider that to be the, you would not consider that to be the uh, to be wrong if those cells were to be unalived. Right. Um, but say in the case of uh, Kali, thank you so much for the subscription, uh, like say in the case um, of like, say, 24 weeks where there is significant um, reproduction of these cells that would constitute as a human being. Well, I, I would say from the get go, there's going to be reproduction of the cells. But you don't care. But, the development. Well, well, at some point, no, there, there, it is single cell. So that would constitute the egg and the the sperm. That I would imagine they both have their own amount of cells, right? So that's no, no, cells. they're both they're both one cell. They come together to make one cell. It's a single cell organism. Okay, so it, it, let's say let's say you're right, right? But I am this, right. This is irrelevant to the argument itself. No, it's not. I'm trying to find out what you're like. I don't even think you know your argument because you're going to need to know this criteria in order for us to even be able to get anywhere. Right. So I'm asking you during the time in which a human being is just a single cell. Is it OK to unalive that cell? So could you repeat that for me? I'm sorry. During the time in which uh, a human being is a single cell. Mm -hmm. Is it OK to unalive that cell? So at, at the moment of conception, it is no longer okay to unalive. Yeah, but this doesn't meet your criteria though. Cause I'm asked, well, I asked you within the context of a human cell, if it's, mm -hmm. if it's constitute that of a human life, you said it's wrong to unalive human So life. a human cell is just constituted of lipids, carbohydrates, uh, um, um, sugars and wait, no, that's car and proteins. So I, I don't, I don't, like the, the composition of a cell is the same no matter what. It's the DNA that makes the difference. Okay, so you care you care about the DNA. That's what would constitute. No, I care human about life? human beings, right? So, and I can give a little bit more insight into my perspective. I'm a Christian, and so I think that humans are made in the image of God. Oh, you so believe in fairy have... tales? We can get no way. That's get, crazy. Yeah, yeah, we can we can we can get to that bullshit later, right? Um, but let's, I don't know why you're even, why, why are you holding to science if you believe in literal, like, fucking Dr. Seuss books? Um, but like, uh, again, um, how, how, how are I don't, I don't care. I don't care to go over that yet. Um, so why would you make the comment? Because I don't like Christians. So, um, okay. or I don't like the belief. I don't care about Christians. I don't like the belief. I don't like when people believe things with no evidence. Um, I don't yeah, know why you're requiring evidence and you believe in God, like be for real. <laughs> anyway, um, so like I said before, <laughs> like I said before, um, uh, yeah, so like you said like, previously in your argument, you said that it's wrong to unalive human life. I'm asking you what constitutes human life. I'm asking you if a single cell human organism, right, would constitute as human life and would it be wrong to unalive them, right? Would it be wrong to unalive a single cell human cell? 
a single human cell. So if it, if it is a conceived human being, if that is the whole of the human being, right? If it's just like uh, but, a uh, part uh, of but my... I'm, but, I'm, but I'm asking you, like, say if you have a single skin cell of a human being, that is a human cell. Is it wrong to unalive that cell? Right. That's part. That's not the whole. It's a yes or no question. So it, it's just inapplicable. It's like a yes or no. Yeah, but I'm there. no, I'm not. I'm I'm really not. I'm trying you to are. understand this is where. A I'm question. not. I'm not. At, I'm not making an argument yet. I'm not even making a proposition yet. I'm trying to figure out where the fuck your criteria is, right? So I've already. So given do you, you think? I'm trying to make sure. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. You have given me the criteria. I'm testing your logic to see where your criteria ends. Okay, so in the context of a single human skin cell, is it wrong to unalive that cell? Yes or no? And if you can't answer that, I'm just going to go on to the next person because I don't care to do this whole like. But no, weird it's not wrong to unalive a, a one human skin cell from a, a part. Why is it not? Why is it not wrong to unalive the skin cell? Because the parts are not the same as the whole. What does that even mean? So, it, like, are you familiar with the study of myriology? No. Okay, so this is the study of the relationships from parts to whole. So a part of a human being doesn't constitute the entirety of a human being. For example, if I burn a hair strand, this doesn't mean I just killed a human, right? Okay. Or I'm sorry, unalived a human. Wait, it's just a category. You the same error. about a zygote. Yeah, the zygote is not a full human. It's only the part of a human. So you can the by this logic, you can say human that being. it's no, not it's a whole not. human being, though. It's it's a developing human. Right. Is is there any other part of that zygote in existence like are we taking a part or the whole that it we're is a here? part that is building more parts to become the whole okay so let's let's break this down let's like reduce this to try to make i feel this like i did just as, reduce it so I, I i'm not sure that you have so if we look at zygote let's say it's at age two weeks right mm -hmm. so if it's at age two weeks and the whole of that human is a zygote if you unalive that zygote, you have unalived the whole. Uh, it's not a whole human, though. It is a whole human. How are we? How are we? <laughs> what would? No, what, wait, no, not. wait, because what would? Again, that's why I'm asking. You, what would constitute <clears throat> that of a human? Like, for example, is it wrong to unalive a brain dead patient? Um, technically, they're already unalived at that it's point. It's a yes or no question. So, is it? They are alive, though. So a machine is keeping them alive. Brain dead patients so, are cellularly alive. So is it wrong to unalive them? Again, a machine is keeping them alive. They're already that, alive. That's also the case for people who are in a coma or who are on life support. So is it wrong to well, unalive? You said, you said brain so dead. Is it, you I know, I know. But you gave this as a criteria to say that they are not alive. And we understand that there are people who are indeed alive, who if you took them off these particular machines, they would not survive, even though they have they are indeed alive and you would agree to that as well. So that wouldn't be the correct criteria that you, even you would hold to, right? Okay, so, so brain dead patients are indeed cellularly alive. Is it wrong to unalive them? So they're not functioning on their own. Neither is like, a yeah, fetus. Neither, first of, yes, first of all, neither is a fetus and neither is a person on life support. So is it wrong or neither is a person with cerebral palsy? Neither mm -hmm. is my dad when he fucking falls asleep. Right. So yeah. <laughs> like, be for real. Right. Um, so is it wrong to unalive a brain dead patient? So uh, it would depend, like if we're accurately assessing the the uh, the brain dead patient, they are already unalive. The thing that's keeping them alive is machinery. I don't know. Did you not hear me? Am I am I fucking tweaking out chat? Am I tweaking out? He's talking about self-sufficiency as if he holds to that. And I, I, you don't. You don't so you fucking hold to finish talking. You don't hold to self sufficiency. Why do you, you keep you, making the same point? Uh, it's because I haven't finished the point. Every well, time I try to make it, you interrupt me. Well, it's because this is like special pleading. Like you're saying that it's it's okay <clears throat> to unplug somebody who's on life support or uh, who's brain dead because they're not the ones who are keeping themselves alive. But if we were to do this, like in this analogy, we would be unplugging the fetus from the mother. It would also not live. Right. So that's why I was going to continue to explain that is a natural process, right? This is there is no added machinery needed in this instance. It's a 100 percent natural process, the process of childbearing, of pregnancy. Just because it's natural doesn't mean that it's not it's not <laughs> okay right, so, so then by your worldview it's 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 perfectly morally permissible to unplug a personal life support so let's say because like, they're not can you give me more specifics 
It's literally the same concept, right? Within the concept, within the within the uh, concept, well, within the context um, of the fetus, right, who is being kept alive via natural means, the personal life support is being kept alive by non-natural means, right? And so, under your mm -hmm. worldview, it would be okay to unplug them from life support. Okay, so if if we have a situation to where the individual that's on life support has a good chance at coming, I don't know why you're bringing life. this in. Yeah, why does that even matter? I don't know why you're bringing that in. It would be unnatural. It would also be unnatural to save anybody who's like unaliving on the table, like during surgery. It would be wrong to try and bring somebody back. Everybody would have to basically be do not resuscitate because it's unnatural to like try that, and save them. That's one hell of a goalpost shift. Right. So I'm just showing that there's two different categories. And so before I make an overall yes or no, why do, why are there suddenly two other cat like another category? I'm I'm confused. There's the category of the natural and the category of the unnatural. So wait, you think things that are natural ought to happen? What's up, Dean? So yeah. they're just it's not analogous. So we're we're looking at two How different. Is it not there are other things that are natural. Like if somebody is in surgery and they start to pass away on the table, it would be unnatural for the doctors to swoop in and try and save them with like a, a electric shock to the chest, with uh, compressions, uh, breathing, et cetera, et cetera. That would be unnatural. The natural process of dying is occurring. We should not stop that under your worldview. One second, Dean, what? Uh, I was gonna go live just, Wait a minute, I'm sorry. That, one second, one second, truth. one second, one second, one second, one second, truth. Uh, Dean, um i don't know when you're gonna go live but i have to hop off in like an hour and 20. so if you're gonna go live there i can radio uh that's noon my time yeah that like lines up perfect perfect um but yeah true is over here saying fuckery um so i don't i, I thought this would be a great conversation for you because i do i, I do want to hear like what your response is are you up to it uh yeah, yeah i saw that you invited i i just woke up so i may be like a little bit uh off my off my a game but you know what let's uh let's have some convo here so so what's what's the claim what's the claim so I, I can give my argument again, yeah. if you'd like. Okay. So it's always wrong for an innocent, for a, a human being to unalive an innocent human being. Abortion entails the unaliving of an, a human being, unaliving another human being, an innocent human being. Therefore, abortion is always wrong. Yeah. So uh, do you think that life starts at conception? Yes. Okay, of course. So do you think that women with IUDs are like murderers since in some instances an IUD uh, just will prevent the implantation of a uh, fertilizer? I, I'm not in support of birth control so, uh, of any sort. I'm against yeah, it. I know, but you, you could like not be in support of birth control mm -hmm. for so many reasons. I'm specifically asking you if you think that women with IUDs are murderers. Uh, no, that wouldn't be entailed from the argument though. Um, I think it would be because I mean, if I just, just said, said it's always wrong. I didn't say they're murderers. Okay, well, is it is it murder if I unalive you? It depends on the purpose, the reason. Um, so I don't know. Uh, you're like if I'm trying to hurt you and you defend yourself, then no. No, we're not going to assume self defense here. We're going to assume something that would align that would line up with uh, your premise, right? I'm a human being trying to unalive you, an innocent human being. Was that murder? So if you in the instance of me being innocent, like in you intentionally, and I, I, I guess I forgot to add the qualifier in the initial first premise of intentionally. So if you intentionally unalive me and I'm innocent, right, that, that would qualify for that, yeah. Wait, it has to be intentional now? So if you unintentionally do that, then it wouldn't qualify as the M word, no. That would be okay. so, a little bit different. Like yeah, if you hit me with a car, on accident. Well, know. a lot of women who get who get abortions uh, don't even think that the fetus is a is a is alive, um, and and I bet you're like very um, you know uh, familiar with that. So for those women that do get an abortion that don't think the fetus is alive or a human or something along those lines, they're not intentionally ending the life of an innocent human. So is that not murder? So you're saying that they don't realize it's a human. They just, yeah, a, a lot of. So, people. what other species would it be? Um, man, I can't tell you the argument, but I'm guessing you're Not familiar probably. with like, a lot of like pro-choice arguments that would like assume that a fetus is not a human or not alive. Right, I, I've heard the arguments that like it's not a human being, or that it doesn't have intrinsic value because of its stage of development. But as far as it not being a human, 
I haven't heard that. No, I don't know, because that would mean you have to categorize it as its own species. Well, and I don't I, know what I'm other species from humans. Point. Look, look, here's the point. So I asked you, um, you know, if a woman with an IED would be a murderer. And, and it seems like um, you then went back to how you define murder and add on this intentional part, right? You have mm -hmm. to do it intentionally. Um, right. So a woman with an IED wouldn't be a murderer. But... Um, you know, this gives us some bad implications for uh, for abortions, <clears throat> because in some contexts, uh, women are, aren't intentionally ending the life of a of a human because they don't know it's a human or they don't know it's a life. Um, and I'm just asking you if you would classify these particular abortions as being wrong or as being murders. So, if you could show me that an individual woman would not know that she was if this female didn't know that she was eliminating a human inside of her womb um i, I guess you that that would not be a case of the m word right because they they truly didn't know um i don't, I don't know how you would classify that because that's just a strange situation um but i would you could say that's right it wouldn't necessarily be uh the m word so you also said that those were your same qualifiers for moral wrongness. Would that be morally wrong? Um, I mean, yes, it would just be a, a different classification of a moral wrongdoing. Okay. Uh, and then just another thing here. You said it's uh, about uh, humans aren't alive and other humans. Uh, do you, I mean, why do you value humans? Are, are you like a theist? Or, um, yeah, I'm a Christian. Okay, so would you say that like the reason that you uphold this value for humans would reduce down to your religion? Well, because I think if if you're not religious, it's very hard. In fact, like very, I don't think you can intrinsically justify value for humans. Like it would just be it would boil down to arbitrariness. And so I, I think like being made in the image of God, having the doctrine of imago Dei, right? We are made humans in particular are made with this value that God has instilled within us. We have a rational justification for intrinsic value. If, if we don't have that, then we're basically just boiling it down to preference. Now, there, there are like moral realists that are atheists, right? And so they have justifications in that realm. But I, I don't think that those arguments uh, are very strong. But that's like, a, if you want to take it in that direction, I'm happy to. Ultimately, that's what this boils down to. But uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'd be, I'd, be, I'd be happy to as well. But um, I think Edith or... You know, to shake if you guys want to hop in here, like you know, keep the conversation away from Christianity. Go for it. Uh, I was going to go down that path anyway. Sweet. Um, yeah, Edith, I, I, I saw you say something in chat. If you wanted to talk to him, uh, you could go for it if you want. Well, we're kind of off what we were talking about before, so. All right. It's, it's whatever. My whole thing is like, if he's a theist, and this is going to be like the crux of his entire position. So like, I don't even care about attacking any other part until we get to. Um, yeah. overall, well, yeah, the first yeah. thing he said when he came in was that he's an abolitionist and he thinks that it should be illegal. No, nope, didn't say that. Well, he said, said he was, he was, sure he, he was stuck between pro-life or abolition. Um, That's, is that not the same thing? Well, no, you can, you can be pro-life and not necessarily think that it's banned. He believes, but like, uh, but abolitionist is like the, um, the far right to the pro-life view. Like I can see, I can see what he means when he says when he says that. Are they very, very? So, is the line gray? Yes, um, but you know. So, so host, I actually have this customer I need to call. I'm still kind of at work. How long are you going to be on? Um, I'm going to be on till uh, for another hour. Would I be welcome back if I come on a little bit later? Uh, yeah, just just message me. I can follow you, and then um, if when you when you request back up, I can see you. Okay, I appreciate your time. And Dean, I'd love to talk to you about Christianity more. I see your your Christian lives, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll make sure I'll make sure I'm here for a convo on Christianity with you. Cool. All right. Well, thank you guys. Appreciate it. I'll talk to you later. All right. All right. See ya. Well, Truth over right. T's an, is an interesting guy. Oh my God! It's divine. 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 You really wanted the debate, it looks like. <laughs> what's what's yeah, what's I mean I, I, I saw I saw you guys three V one in the pool, man. We uh, didn't so literally I, weren't I, I, didn't speak for <laughs> the whole time. Like, Dude, please. Really? Um 
Dude, I don't know why people say that. Who was who was talking to him, Divine? Well, I mean, it was more of a 2v1 early. Edith and Toshika were kind of taking turns. I just think it would be more fair if it was more of like a, a 2v3 or a 2v2. I, I, I mean, when I, mean, I got I, I, up here, I was talking to him directly. I mean... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Isn't it I mean, insane how you could start your own live and have that be the case? You know, he does. I don't know why he's not doing it right now. Anyway, so... Oh, divine. that's crazy. What do, you, what do you want, man? What's your, what's your argument? What's your gripe? <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. so, I mean, I would just say uh, it's always wrong to unalive innocent human beings, uh, regardless of development stage. Um, and obviously, you know, I assign value uh, based on my belief in Christianity. Uh, so, yeah, what would what would be your... I feel like we've got to go from the beginning. I don't just want to dish out all my, my arguments straight away. Well, so. you're not supposed to anyway. You're supposed to go point mm-hmm. by point, right? So mm-hmm, your first mm-hmm. point is that you feel it's... Un- you believe it's... Un- wow. It's unethical to uh, unalive a human life of any sort. Uh, a human life that possesses the potentiality of like further sentience. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, so yeah. in the context of like a brain dead patient, is it wrong to unalive them? Uh, no, not at all, because they wouldn't possess that potentiality. Potentiality for what further sentience? Oh, it's not like always wrong to unalive yeah. an innocent. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, then yeah. I would have so, to ask I you mean, what would constitute uh, that of a human being. And well, if your conjunct said... is is human and sentience, then like. Well, he didn't say, like, both at the same time. He's saying that has the potential to have sentience. So if somebody's brain dead, they do not have the potential to regain sentience. Yeah, mm-hmm. so, I mean, would you just, like, concede on your stance? Mm-hmm. Uh, I suppose I just worded it wrong. I just meant I value humans that have that potentiality. Like, I don't value, like, brain dead people. Yet. So is no. it wrong? So is it wrong for my boyfriend to, like, pull out? Is it wrong for me to have a uh, breeding cook <laughs> divine? <laughs> Mm, uh, yeah, so yes, uh, that would be wrong. Be, that, 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 well, well, yeah, I, I don't think like pulling out is going to be like a comparable to like a, a human being that already exists because uh, in the case of pulling out, you're uh, doing something that prevents a human Thank being. Thank you, Adora, for the rave, my love. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, so that last part again? In the case of pulling out, you're preventing a human being from beginning, where in the case mm-hmm. of abortion, you're terminating a pre existing human. So that's going to be like a, a distinction there. One terminates a human, one does not. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So like I say, so like uh, within the context of like saying like an IUD in which the uh, IUD uh, prevents the implantation uh, of a fertilized egg, is that wrong as well? Yeah, so I'd be against birth control for a different reason, but um, in the case of like that small amount of cases where that would happen, it would be wrong, uh, but I would grant like a difference morally between the knowledge of unliving somebody with intent versus it happening without knowledge. Uh, like obviously it's still going to be, it's, it's a bad situation, an innocent human dies, uh, I would just say it is going to be morally different than like an abortion. I wouldn't say it's the same. No. Morally different than an abortion. Why? Why would that be the case? Because I, I, I don't, I don't know if this would be. Uh, I, I have never run this particular argument before. But like, um, given that a person gets the IUD, they understand that this is indeed a possibility. Mm-hmm. Even though yeah, they do not let's... consciously get the abortion, they understand that if, if within the context of them getting, um, uh, if an egg getting fertilized, they know that this will happen. Hmm. Yeah, so let's say like I, uh, what's an example? Um, let's say like you uh, purchase something in the case of let's say the IUD and you have knowledge that there's a small chance it may result in the death of a human. I would say that's different than going out of your way and unali- unaliving a human with 100% knowledge it's going to end in that conclusion. All right, The knowledge of something ending 100% that way versus something may end that way is going to be different. I'm sorry, so that last part again? It's it's gonna be like different. Like if if I if I if I know if I do an action to Tashika, it's one hundred percent gonna unalive you. Mm-hmm. Versus if I I don't know um I, I can't give an example, but if I decided to do something and that gives like a zero point one percent unaliving Tashika, I would say it's morally different, right, to do something with knowledge that it will one hundred percent unalive somebody versus like a low chance. Yeah, it is. Like it, it is morally different. different. It, it is morally yeah. different. It seems like it'd be more wrong. I mean, also just assigning some low probability isn't really going to get you out of this. I mean, let's just think about it this way, right? Well, the reason that people with IEDs are engaging in sex is probably for pleasure. So, I mean, you're essentially saying here that you think mm-hmm. it's not as wrong for someone to engage in an action for pleasure that yields a very high risk of termination of an innocent human life. That is just um, absurd. This is probably going to be more wrong uh, than abortion in this sense. So I just have a question. Do you think that IUDs should be federally illegal? No, uh, I need to respond to that. No. So the distinction is going to be if I go out, right, and I'm driving, I know there's a small chance I may unalive somebody. That's very different than me driving my car into somebody. 
and All that's right, very so that's going to be like a distinction everyone between else on the road consented to the same uh to the same risks involved with the activities i mean we'll just consider yeah, just of like just a like little, a, little, a, little, a little bit of another idea uh for a little bit of another idea here right so mm -hmm. um like for instance uh, let's just say there's a button in front of me 50 percent of the time when i hit this button right um it's just going to kill someone right and the other 50 percent, it's going to give me like 500 bucks if I hit this button uh, and it kills someone, am I a murderer? Uh, if there's like a 50-50 chance? Yep. And you, you have knowledge it's going to unalive somebody, or 50% chance of unaliving somebody? Yep. Uh, yeah, then I would say you're a murderer. Yeah. Okay, so women with IEDs, murderers. Uh, yeah, so murder, I, I, I think like when we assess like when somebody's a murderer, we do have to look at like the knowledge of... Um, you could still say it's murder, I would just say it's going to be different. Like if somebody um, I don't has knowledge know, of what they're doing, that's good. Like when we review cases, right? When a criminal goes to, to a uh, in front of a judge, one of the things that they review is the knowledge, right? Of, of, of if they understood the the level of the situation. So, let's so that just is going to be relevant. This. Imagine I had an IE. Do you know what an IED is? An IED? Yes, it's a bomb. So, imagine yeah, of course, you ghost. Yeah, yeah. Imagine I <laughs> take one of these bombs and I just throw it in a park and walk away. <laughs> so it's possible that someone could step on the bomb. It's possible someone can't step on the bomb. If I come back in a day and I find it exploded with a dead body laying there, am I a murderer? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so a woman gets an IUD and engages in intercourse. It's possible this unalives a conceived zygote. It's possible it doesn't unalive a conceived zygote. Is the woman a murderer? Okay, uh, yeah, so I would say uh, define murder. <laughs> well, the same. I, I need to know because I'm in the like, context of the IED. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, like a bomb is going to be like designed to like always unalive humans or cause like like serious damage to a human. Whereas like a, a an IUD is like doesn't have that the same design behind it. The IUD so is say, like, literally designed to to prevent a human from prevent. Beginning. Burn. Yeah, but a bomb is designed to, or to destroy a, a current existing human. I think that you're just more so dodging the conclusion here. I don't even think that this is relevant, bro. It's like, well, I, yeah, I, 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 don't, I, I don't think like the design of the mechanism is really meaningful. I mean, we mm -hmm. can just say that this particular bomb was designed um, to like, you know, like blast away tunnels in, in the middle of like a mountain, right? Not to unalive a human. It just so happens that it can unalive a human, mm -hmm. right? The same thing would be said about the IUD. These are all like very... Uh, semantic verbal disputes here. At the end of the day, you can't dodge the conclusion. You said that a woman with an IUD is a murderer, yet having an IUD should not mm -hmm. be federally illegal. So given your same logic, I don't care if you say women who get abortions are murderers. In order for, in order when, when, did for I say, when, did, when did I say it shouldn't be illegal? When, when did I say it shouldn't be illegal? Um, yeah, about five minutes ago, you said it should be federally legal. I, I didn't say that. No, no yes, I did not did. say that. I mean, would you retract that? No, I didn't. No, I did, I, I did not say that. That's That's a lie. So would you say it should be federally illegal? I didn't illegal? say that. Yes, I, th I think it should be illegal, yeah. I, I, I never said it should be legal. I never said that in my life. John, I appreciate you for the $5. Thank you so much, Sean. So, so I yeah, I already, I, already, I, already said, I already said that both will be murderers, right? But I'm just going to say that murder with knowledge of like what's going on is going to be different, right? It's going to be worse. But that doesn't mean I don't think she's not a murderer anymore. Like, yeah, she can still be a murderer, but it's but not the should same. All, should, murder, should all murderers go to jail? Yes, but each murderer from case by case basis should receive uh, like a. An so you just said that all like murderers makes should one go worse. to jail. So you said all murderers should go to jail. So women with IUDs should go to jail. Um, women uh, who have IUDs that results in like the death of a human. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would say so. And also in my case, like IUDs should be illegal. So if they have one, then yeah, they should go to jail for that reason, because they're um, doing something so illegal. Yeah, I don't. I don't really care about like the legality of it. Like, if I was like teleported like uh, two hundred years back in the past during the times of slavery, I'd say that like the slave owner should go to jail, even if it wasn't currently illegal. Right? We're just talking about what you think should be the case. So yeah, under your worldview, a woman with an IED is just as likely to be a murderer as a woman who gets an abortion, and they should both go to jail. I don't really think I, anyone. I, is I, I, I never. I, 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 okay, okay. So you just completely like lying. Okay, I never said they should get the same punishment. I said for on a case by case basis. I never said they that. should be. Investigated. Okay. Yes, you you just you just literally twisted my argument entirely. I never said that. I, I never, never said, said that people about IUDs. You just, said, you just said you just said that I said no. D, you you there. just said listen, brother. You just said okay that I apparently said women who have IUDs should get the same punishment as women who get abortions. I never said that. Okay. They can both be a murderer. And no, you said they should both go to jail. Yes, but that doesn't mean they should both That's get the same the punishment. Same punishment. 
No, it's not. No, it's different not. Okay, sentences, just because they go to the same place. Def- Bro, different sentences. Yes, that's relevant. Is a sentence not, not relevant to a punishment? Oh, yeah, I didn't wait, but going to jail is the second. same punishment. It's just a different amount of time. Yeah, he's Nobody getting a little... said, said a different the same amount, amount of time. Bro- brother, a different amount of time is a difference in punishment. Yeah, I never said anything about the amount of time. I just said under your worldview, a woman with an ID is just as likely to be a murderer as a woman who gets an abortion and they should- I don't- Divine, like, what exactly aren't you understanding? It's the same punishment, just different time. It's not even like- What, yes. what are you not understanding? Like, a, a murderer I'm who only went to jail for five years is still a murderer as the same as a murderer who went to jail for 30 years. Uh, I accept that, like, both are going to be murderers, but let's say you have somebody who unalived uh, somebody, and then somebody who unalived, like, ten children, right? Uh, they're, like, I'm going to see those... Just saying one's like, more wrong than the other. Right? I, you've made this point clear. Yes. I don't really think anyone Okay, well, then, 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 then what's the problem? They're both murderers. Yeah, what's, what's the problem? The, the problem is that, once again, under your worldview, a woman with an IUD is just as likely to be a murderer as a woman who gets I an I never abortion. said that. I never said she's just as likely. I don't, likely. I don't what understand you what about? you're not getting here. I'm going to go ahead and explain it to you. When I say that a woman with an IUD and a woman who gets an abortion are just as likely to be a murderer, I'm not saying no. that they're just as likely to do this, the same action. <laughs> And that's just as wrong. Mm. I'm saying that people, these individuals are just as likely to meet your criteria of murder. You could say that no. one is more wrong than another one, right? This nope. is not up for debate. And now you can't nope. just reject this because this was the conclusion of the last 15 <sighs> minutes of the conversation. You all agreed right, under okay. your worldview that they wouldn't de- be murderers. It just wouldn't mm-hmm. be as wrong as abortion and all murderers should go to jail. Therefore, they should both go to jail. I don't know what's hard to consume about this. And we haven't even talked mm-hmm. about the Christianity that's underpinning this yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, if you want to take the Christian route, we can, we can go there. But um, the, 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 just to address your point quickly, I've already explained and I'm going to ask you the question. Is it morally different? Okay, I want to ask, is this different to you, right? Is there a distinction? If somebody does an act that they know may result in a low chance of unaliving somebody versus somebody intending to unalive somebody with the 100% uh, chance that it unalives them, is that different? Um, so first of all, there's not a 100% chance that abortions are going to unalive someone. And second of all, yes, it's going to be different. But third of all, as I already described, I think that if we would assign some, like, some, uh, some reasonable chance of causing the death, death of an individual, it's actually like not that different at all. Like, I, I mean, we could go through those hypotheticals again. Now, listen, man, I understand your position, but you twisted my words completely. I never said that, like, they deserve... You can say that jail is the same punishment, but I would say jail for 50 years is different than jail for one. But do you know that they, they'll go to the same type of jail, too? Yeah. Like, they both... Cool, same, same type of place does not mean same punishment. Okay. It is the same punishment, what? just for different amounts of time. <laughs> yes, and the amount of time... And most of the time, punishment. they're going to get the same amount of time, just in, in some cases, like, if you've unalived multiple people you'll get mm. like oh three life sentences you only live one life so i don't know what the fuck they're talking about there but um yeah oh, most true. people who unalive yeah. are going to get life sentences or 60 years to life or whatever and most of the time murderers die in jail regardless of how many people they killed oh wait mm. that's a good question uh, yo divine if i engage in an action uh that like I know could unalive a school bus of children, but ends up unintentionally unaliving a school bus of children. How long should I go to jail for? That's what kind of question is that, man? Like a, a, valid, a question that we would prefer you answer. Uh, yeah, you should go to prison for, for the rest of your life, in my opinion. So yeah, if I engage in intercourse with my girlfriend with an IUD for the next month, every single day, and not every day, right? She should get out of jail for life. Are you saying like a child a child dies every time? Well, I'm saying if we do it enough over the course of the next month, right, we'll be able uh, to you know kill right um, a school bus of children's worth of conceived zygotes. Then I yeah, I would, that she yeah, should sure. go to jail for the rest of her life. Yeah, sure. If she's killing multiple humans, then yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Oh my God, Edith! Damn. What? All right. Well, there's the absurdity in the I position. Wait, wait, Dean. Do, do you know, I have a question for you, real quick. I don't know what I said. Before we move on. You uh, you, you believe it's only a uh, wrong time. Wait, I, I would Dean not go to jail too? Uh, yeah, D- Dean would also go to jail as well in this case. But I have a why I, I he have doesn't have the IUD. Yeah, but he's still part part like took in, partaken in the act that like led to the death of these innocent people. So oh, so he's the accomplice. Yeah, basically. Wait, should, wait, Dean. Yeah, wait, Dean I, I have a question, Dean. You uh, you, do you think it's only wrong to cause harm against humans that are uh, sentient? Um, no. 
Okay. Uh, do you believe that on aliving a human only becomes immoral based on the fact that they're sentient? No. Okay, yeah, what, when does it become immoral? Yeah, um, I hold up like a past and a present or future conjunct, but I'm really agnostic of my abortion position at the moment. Okay, so is it okay to uh, uh, like grape a fetus that hasn't had any past sentience? Is it okay for you to fucking grape a brain dead baby? Yeah, is that okay under your view? Wait, um, no, I don't think it's ever okay to grape something even if they don't have moral value. I'll just ask you the same. Uh, I'll just ask you the same question. So, if there's a baby born brain dead, is it okay for you to grape them? Uh, no. Why not? Yeah, because graping humans is like always going to be wrong simply because they're human. Well, it seems like we agree. What if it's a dog, though? Yeah. How do you assign? One second. How do you assign that value to a human under under atheism? Okay, Divine. Nice Divine, you don't you don't assign value to brain dead people. Remember, your conjunct is humanity plus future sentience, so you're not assigning value to this entity. Yeah. So I'm asking you though, like, what? Why do you think like that would be wrong under your view? Uh, yeah, because of the intentions of the actor and aesthetics. So, yeah, do you think it'd be morally permissible to grape a dog? Do I think it'd be morally permissible to grape a dog? Uh, no, the Bible condemns bestiality. So let's go ahead and talk about the Bible. Unless, Ashika or Edith, y'all wanted to talk about something else. Oh I just wanted to point out how he said that it's wrong to grape a brain-dead baby because simply because they are human. But then when you say a dog, he says, no, the Bible says. <laughs> like... Okay, so it's... <laughs> yeah, the Bible condemns bestiality. The Bible doesn't, like, condemn, uh, like, a... Uh, Breaking death. babies? Be yeah. It, no, it, no, it, it condemns, like, grape, right? It condemns grape. That's it, though? Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you're going to pull out some out-of-context verses that are numbers that are just describing... No, like, numbers events. is fully in context that if... Uh, yeah, you're going to give me descriptive verses. A woman is graped verses. in the city. If a woman is graped in the city and doesn't mm -hmm. yell loud enough, you have to kill her and the man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'd first that's of all like just, I, 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 yeah, no, numbers 25, what, sir? I, I, I said that's like numbers 25 something. I don't know the exact number, but I can find it if you need me to. Yeah, I mean, don't use verses if you don't know them. But Oh, yeah, but I do I, know them. That's oh, why Divine, that's, that's, that's you know that's unrealistic and you fucking know it. Be quiet. Just because I don't remember the exact <laughs> I, I, I don't personally bring up verses that I don't know, but, um. Oh, but yeah. I, Divine, I, do you want to talk about Bible I just recited it too. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't make her more wrong. Yo, bring up Justin if he wants to talk about Bible verses. 4v1, let's go, man. Even We're better. We're not 4v1 in you, man. E even better. Even be it is, though, because when I make an argument, you've got four different brains who can I literally didn't say it. anything. Divine, yeah, who have you been talking to this entire time up until the last 30 seconds? Where is Justin? Is he even in here? I, I don't right. know if he's in the guest request. I know he's in the live. But no, tell me, Divine, who have you been talking to okay, the entire yeah, time you've been up your apartment? Yeah, so, so mainly you, but it's still multiple people, right? Like just because I chime in like once or twice to make a comment about how you're wrong about like how punishments work in jail and like how punishments work like uh, under the law. Like, wait, so, wait, wait, bro's, bro's, bro's Maddie's under, getting under, logged under, by two uh, other people under, here. Under, so under your crazy. view, Edith, is, is, is somebody getting a six month uh, prison sentence the same as somebody getting a 60 year prison sentence? Is that the same punishment? Um, not necessarily. Oh, wait, but wait, but they're in the murder. same place. Wait, so you just contradicted your whole argument? No, because the same it's, not, it's not about at the same place. It's about the fact that no matter oh. if you stop talking, if wait, you murder but, but one it was, person, but it was about being talking, at the same place. Talking, so you contradicted stop yourself. Talking. Good job. Why do you ask me a question and not let me answer? Because you contradicted yourself. It's not about the, <laughs> it's not about that. It's about when you are in jail for murder, whether you've killed 12 people or one, you're going to go to jail for life. Or at least till the end of your life. You could be like 30 and they'll be like uh, 40 years, or not 40, fuck. Uh, like 60, 70 years of jail. Mm -hmm. okay. Th that's the so, rest of your so, life. So, so, so you said that... Um... So you said that it's the same punishment when I said about how the person who gets the abortion should yes, go to prison for 20... Yes, because both are going second, to jail for murder. Okay, okay. So, so they're both going to go to jail they, okay, for okay. life. So, so, so if somebody goes to jail for murder for, uh, and they get 10 years, and then somebody goes to jail for 10 murders and gets 100 years, right? Would that be the same punishment? Um, yeah, probably. That's the same punishment. 10 years in prison is the same as 100 years. Yeah, because if we look at it one to one, <laughs> if we're looking at it one to one, stop. What, I don't know. Why I don't know why you're laughing. Like this is this is it, If we look at it one to one, that other person who killed ten people is getting ten years for each person they killed. So yes, it is the same punishment. You get ten years for one murder. 
brother, you know, it's I, just I a even, different I, scale, I, I, bro, different severity. To, what was wrong about what she just said? Also, yeah, I find it hilarious like, that he's like super condescending to me and you, mm, but not mm -hmm. to Dean at all. I, I'm con I'm not condescending to anybody. You're just using stupid arguments, right? You so but what was laugh. stupid about when, when, it? All you did was laugh, but also, but okay, also, can, but also okay. divine, divine. Also, mm -hmm. um, within the context of like the woman I was screaming loud enough, it's in Deuteronomy twenty two twenty four, right? Mm -hmm. Um, it quite. I, I just want to ask you in what context would it be acceptable to unalive um the woman who is a victim of grape for not screaming loud enough so which what context would um would uh uh validify that yeah so i just said i have to read the verse because i know that death is commonly used as spiritual death not always physical no Second it's physical death. It, no it, it literally it, it literally the, says the yeah it uh -huh. literally says it literally says uh to take them to the town's gates and stone to death Okay. Yeah. So I'll just say, like, uh, is it like descriptive, or is it instructed by God, or is it instructed by a group of people? Who's it instructed? It's a by... law. Okay. Is is it instructed by the a group of people or God? I'm sorry, but like, do are there certain things we're not supposed to hold to in the Bible now? Uh, yeah. So it's going to be relevant to see if the commandment came from God or a group of people in the Old Testament. Like, that's going to be obviously relevant. What would be the purpose of that even being in the book? What would be the purpose of like documenting history? I mean, the Bible's a history book. So... Oh, that's what we call it now. Okay. All right. Yeah, it is. It's like I mean, are you, do you do you like assign yourself to traditionalism? Um, sure. Yeah. So then, this is um, moral law coming from Moses. Okay. Yeah. So is is this going to be like one of God's commands then? Um. Yeah. I mean, I like the. Do, do you know what like the do it like like do, do you know what like uh, like mosaic laws? Oh uh, yeah, I'm somewhat familiar. Yeah. Um. But I, I would just have to like verify that what you're saying is true because a lot of times you guys give me verses and like I go out and look and it's it's not actually. I mean, traditionalist belief is like written by Moses. Uh -huh. um, then also Deuteronomy code is the first place in the Bible we see um, like, like a lot of like the moral laws that are signed in the tradition. Yeah, aren't they aren't aren't they aren't the mosaic laws literally laws that are given uh, through Moses from God directly? Uh, yeah, the they be, I, I just I, I I have a problem with this idea. Like I know all you guys don't believe in like objective morality, and this is like my problem. Right? You have two sides of atheism. You will say this is evil, but then you're holding God to a moral standard which can't exist <clears throat> under your worldview. You say everything's meaningless. We make our own meaning. Everything's subjective. But then you try and impose this like you say oh, look how bad this is. But that you Can can't I ask do you that for the contradiction view. between moral objectivism and atheism. Uh, yeah, because like you have no like standard independent of the human mind to like tell me why anything's actually wrong, and if you just have your mind to appeal Wait, to, yeah, 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 I'm asking you for that's a claim. Can you give me the argument for that claim by giving me the contradiction between objective morality and atheism? Yeah, so I'll just ask you, how would you ground objective morality under atheism? And now you're like conflating. Now no, you're it's up to you to tell me how you can ground it. It's not for me to tell you every possible way you can't ground it. It's for so you to tell me how I'll you go, do. I'll go ahead and explain this. So yeah, go ahead. You're making um, a, you're equivocating between it being possible that there would exist moral objectivism, moral objectivism under atheism, and there does exist moral objectivism other, under atheism. So you particularly made the claim that you cannot have this standard Right, as an atheist. So I'm gonna interpret that as you saying that it is impossible, right, under atheism. Right. And given its impossibility or supposed impossibility, you'd have to tell me the contradiction. So, yeah, so I, 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 I would I'm just say not I would say, appreciate the uh, one second. I'm not gonna appreciate like you pivoting and like asking a question. Right. Let's I stay wasn't on topic pivoting. here. I yes, you are. I just, I just described the pivot to you. That was the first thing I just did. I, ex I explained to you how you would be equivocating between these terms. A question is not an argument. Let's stay on topic here. What is the contradiction between atheism and moral objectivism? Right. And, and so far as that it would be impossible to have an objective standard for morality under atheism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I'd say I should clarify a bit more that like it also is going to be like a strictly like a like a naturalistic worldview, like that like you don't like not like moral Platonism, right? Like there can be atheists who do believe in that. I would have. An argument against that like i would run that uh, but i would just say like I, i'm more talking about like strictly like materialists right okay. like, i don't think they can have objective give me the contradiction man i you have yet to give it to me um yeah i already just explained how like it's your job to explain to me how it can exist if i Dude, say I it already, can't no wait, no brother wait, brother wait, if okay, i say it one second exist? one second I if, if i if i say to you objective morality can't exist under this view it's not for me to debunk every single moral uh like framework under atheism that comes i'm not going to debunk moral platonism and, wait like, all that's these kind literally going to be that no, is no that's not my job that you're holding to no you Divine, tell me bro, how you don't it's know what possible. you're saying you don't know what you're I saying do not, so you don't know what no you're you saying. have absolutely no clue you're okay. making a positive claim 
you, mm-hmm. uh, you're making that you're you're making the positive claim, right? Um, that it cannot exist, right? Given like an atheist worldview, and if you're going to make the claim that it is logically impossible, you're going to have to give me an argument for that claim. You can't just make the claim, and then when I ask for your argument pivot and ask me for an argument for how it can exist. You want to know my argument for how it's possible to exist? It is. It does not violate either of the three classical laws of logic. Therefore, it's possible to exist. And this would be antithetic to your claim that it's impossible to exist. So once again, I want you to you know justify your argument here. Don't shift the burden of proof. Don't pivot or change the subject. Give me the contradiction between atheism and objective morality. Okay, yeah, so me saying that like this view can't exist, right? And then you saying I have to then like debunk every single view. I need to no, know you have your to provide view the contradiction. That's what it no, means I, I need to, to know, I exist. need to know, I don't even know your view, right? If I don't know your view, how do you expect me to respond to it? Bro, I, I mean, what, what happened to like people actually giving arguments for the shit that they say? You're making a modal claim. You're saying that it is impossible to exist. And then you expect me to make an argument? No, don't shift the burden of proof, lazy. What's the argument? What's the argument? Give me the argument that objective morality can exist under atheism. Yeah, so like objective morality is going to be dependent on like a truth that exists independent of the human mind. You have no mind independent of the human mind under atheism to ground any kind of like a moral truth or like any transcendental laws of logic, right? And because you don't have any mind independent of this mind, you won't be able to ground them as actually true, but rather as true because of the human, like like arbitrarily, like arbitrarily decided by us. That yeah, but you made another claim that objective morality can only be grounded in the mind. Give me the argument. Yeah, explain to me. Uh, so morality is a concept. Concepts only exist in minds. Tell me how a concept can exist without a mind. So go ahead and prove that. Give me the argument. Give yeah, me the, all... give me the give me the contradiction between okay. uh, transcendentals and an atheist worldview. Br- br- brother, if I say to you, morality concepts are dependent on a mind. It's for you now to tell so now me we're arguing, so how. Now we're no, listen. About... Tell me. Tell me how a concept can exist independent of, the, of a mind. Tell me how, because you haven't been able to provide the contradiction, it's possible. Right? Give it like your interpretation of. Brother, like, just because uh, something is logically possible doesn't mean it's logically plausible, right? Like, it doesn't mean it doesn't yeah, mean plausible, I, sorry. Okay. For, wait, for but example, you're, okay, wait. So now you're accepting that it's possible. So now that you're accepting that it's possible, transcendentals are not contradictory under an atheist worldview. Okay. You have conceded your entire no, argument I, I because you made the claim that it was. I'm about. not done, bro. I'm going to go ahead and finish. You just conceded the entire fucking argument. You just I made the claim me, that it is possible um, that transcendentals could exist under an atheist worldview. But your claim five minutes ago is that you cannot have objective morals or mm-hmm. you cannot have transcendentals under the atheist worldview. So you have now conceded that claim because you were not able to give me an argument for it. And you have came to the bright side and now recognize that there's not a contradiction. Mm-hmm. And at this point, bro, I'm going to take that as a concession. Is there anything else you want to go over? <laughs> yeah, so it wasn't a concession. Uh, you sure know how to... Uh, do a bit of sophistry for the crowd, bro. You but, um, said that, uh, you, bro. Please, you said objective morals can't exist under an atheist worldview, and now you're saying objective morals can possibly okay, exist so, under an atheist so, worldview. So, so that so, was a concession. Oh, okay, cool. So, so let's say. Uh, Wait, no. Recognize the concession. Sure. So let's say. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Let, let's, See, it wasn't sophistry. Say, let's, you actually let's say, did concede. Continue. Let's say it's. Let's say it's possible, right? I would just say that doesn't make it plausible, right? I could literally just say that, like, it's possible. Um, that like, I don't know, I don't even know, I could, I could just give like any, like the, the fact that you're just saying like simply just because something is possible, Wait, just because like a God is possible doesn't make them plausible, however, I'd say that the Christian God is impossible to exist. In the same way you asked me to explain how objective morality can exist under an atheist worldview, can you please explain to me how a God can exist, particularly the Christian one? Yeah, it's, I would getting, just say that, like, it's getting bad in here. I, I would just say that, like, what we observe in reality necessitates the existence of God. And I just explained, right? Yeah, what do we things, observe like, in reality that so, would necessitate the existence of the Christian so, God? So, well, sure, but you did a real good job there of, like, pivoting. When I asked you how can, uh, like, things like transcendence, like, laws of logic and, like, objective moral truths exist independent of, like, a with, without a mind, how they're not dependent on a mind, you didn't even answer the question. You just I didn't answer the question because that was off topic. That wasn't a pivot. No, it wasn't off topic. Answer, why why don't you tell exist? me how they and can I exist? And I strictly Steve? showed you how that was not not true. Okay, Listen, you're making an equivocation exist. here. I'm going to go ahead and explain you won't, your equivocation. You won't answer the question. Divine, you won't I'm, answer. okay. Listen, you won't imagine answer. that we're debating about the shape of the earth, and then you ask me the question, what color my shirt is. 
It's off topic and it's a pivot, right? So we're just going to stay on topic here. No, you made not. the claim that they cannot <laughs> exist under the atheist worldview. Uh -huh. And I showed you how that was strictly false and you conceded. There is a difference between the statement that they're impossible to exist or that they do exist. You so made the claim I, that they're now impossible granted, to exist. Now I've granted it's possible for just for the argument's awesome. sake. So then, but no, so one second, Dean. No, let me ask you a question, Dean. Don't, don't also listen. strictly until so, the existence so, of your God. Okay, so, so now, it's now it's possible for them to exist. Tell me how that's possible. Wait, do you understand that this would make your argument strictly invalid because you said that the Brother, existence sure. of objective I'm just asking you a question. You you keep God. not responding. Like, why aren't you Bro, responding? I don't. I'm you not an objectivist. I'm not a moral objectivist. Wait. So wait, wait. One second. One second. So you've just been arguing something which one you don't even hold to, right? And wait. So, no, I I'm definitely hold to you. the idea that the existence of objective morals do not strictly entail the existence of your theist God, and that was the point in which okay. you were arguing the so, entire time. So, do you so not. The, do not com do not equate and like conflate right these insane propositions in which you set forth now that you're getting dunked on. I will go ahead and tell you this one last time. You made the argument that objective morals exist and the existence of these objective morals strictly mm -hmm. entails um, the, the, the existence of your Christian God. However, what we've just gone over in the last 10 minutes is that there is no contradiction between the existence of objective morals or transcendentals and the atheist worldview. So okay. your claim that the existence or non-existence of these would strictly entail or necessarily entail the existence of your God is false. But okay. now that I've debunked that claim, you are now asking me to prove that no, I'm not. No, the I'm pressure not. is getting Dean, 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 just Dean, Dean, what, I'm just Dean, not going to let you conflate these things. No, I'm not conflating. You just, you haven't, I've asked you five times. Even okay. the chat is asking you to answer. You specifically said that you're not conflating. Bro. Here's the conflation. There's a conflation between saying what? that they can possibly exist and they do exist. Is that a conflation? Yes or no? Repeat your statement. There's a conflation between you saying that they can't possibly exist and you asking me to prove that they certainly exist. I didn't ask you to oh, prove. I asked you to tell you me, me how it can. No, I, I, Dean, Dean, I accepted. Dean, you, listen, please. listen. I accepted. Sure, just for the argument, sir. I'll do it. I'll say it's possible they can exist. Now I'm asking you to Perfect. tell me. Perfect. So then you conceded Dean, your first argument. Okay. Now, now I'm asking you to tell me how that's possible. That's all I want to hear you tell me. Oh. Okay. Oh wait, Go really? Ahead. Oh yeah, oh, sure. Right. Because they don't vi violate either of the three classical laws of logic. Yeah. So explain to me how concepts like um, objective morality, like transcendental laws and logic, uh, uh, can exist without like a, a mind, right? And I know you don't even there's no this contradiction. Because you even admit you're leading well, no, to deism that. because you know that without deism you can't even explain these things, right? The no, tag arguments have you cornered. Okay. That's that's false. So, okay. Okay. So wait, explain. Wait, explain explain to me how they can exist. Go ahead. Yeah. There's no contradiction between transcendentals and the atheist worldview. Go ahead. Explain it. I did. Oh, telling me that it's possible is not explaining how it's possible. <laughs> Wait! Oh it's possible because there's no contradiction between transcendentals and the atheist worldview. That, yeah, that's, so how we would, like, that's how we'd measure logical possibility. Yeah, so can you explain to me, like, uh, like, I guess, where these exist, where they come from? Another conflation. You're now conflating from possibility to uh, plausibility or certainty. What? No, I'm what asking you a question. To be possible? I'm asking you a question, right? Hey, I'm asking you a question. What does it mean for something to be possible? Uh, the chance that it can exist. No, no, no. How do we determine if something is logically possible? Uh, because there's like no contradiction. Okay, so it seems like you would agree with me when mm -hmm. I say we can determine objective morality to be possible under the atheist worldview because there's no contradiction to be a va very valid argument, right? But I don't know if there's no contradiction because I need you to explain to me how that's possible. And if you're just going to keep repeating, well, it's possible, there's no contradiction. Okay, explain how there's no contradiction. Go ahead. You can't just say that and then expect me to accept it. Why? You just had me explain how my view is possible, how I justify it, but then you're not willing to justify your view. You don't even hold to this view. You're leaning towards being a deist because you know that if you don't, then you don't have any good arguments, okay? So why don't you actually respond? Okay, so first of all, like, don't just, like, make up shit. I'm not learning- You said it on a live yesterday! You said it on a okay, live divine, yesterday, Okay, I'm gonna go lie. ahead and, like, talk here. Don't just make shit up, right? I'm not leaning towards deism because we don't have possible explanations on these things. I've literally just described to you the possible explanation. But the thing is here, 
right? You made the positive claim that there would exist a contradiction, and if so, you need to state it, right? The argument that a contradiction wouldn't exist is just the simple fact that we can't conceive of one. Like, I, I mean, you're just getting absolutely like fucking okay, cooked. Okay, the, the, contra the, the contradiction. The only thing you could do is act in bad faith and try to make random shit up, and you sound absolutely stupid, bro. You are okay. so lost. Everyone watching this live right now that is familiar with the literature on right transcendentals on the naturalist world account of the worldview or on just possibilities in general right would know that you sound absolutely fucking lost right now if you're going to make the claim that it, they can't exist you will need to provide an argument for that claim you can't just turn it around on me and be like give me the argument that a contradiction doesn't exist bro you can't name the fucking contradiction yeah, the contradiction. If you the, are the going to make a claim that a contradiction exists with transcendentals under the atheist worldview, give me the contradiction. Yeah, the contradiction is that like uh, concepts are always going to be dependent on a mind. So yeah, give me the argument for that. Yeah, so um, if you're going to simply say like concepts aren't always dependent on a mind, right? Like if you're going to say they can exist without a mind, um, I would just ask you again. Wait, so how... you can't? No, wait. Questions are questions arguments. I asked you for well, an well, argument. Questions are not arguments. Well, if you can't give me an explanation Wait, questions how, aren't arguments. One, one questions second. aren't if, arguments, if, sir. If you, sir, don't change the topic. Questions aren't bro, arguments. Why, I want to know why you keep muting me as well, bro. I'm trying to respond and you've muted me like 50 times. Wait, wait, I asked you for an argument. I never I muted you when you came up on my platform, okay? Yo, Divine, I'm asking you a question. Are questions arguments? Uh, yeah, you can use a question and an argument. Oh, the question thing is someone put $30 over Venmo. I will get some more toys, yeah. No, I didn't ask you if you could use a question in an argument. Are, cre are questions arguments? Yeah. Quite, dude, okay, you're fucking, you're lost. I, I, don't, I don't have anything else for you. If you think that a question is an argument, please. Mm -hmm. So, so if I've explained to you that like, uh, like concepts are going to be like always dependent on the mind and you can't explain to me how it's possible that they can exist without a mind, um, then I would just say if you have no explanation for how they're possible without a mind, then that like would be like a contradiction. Wait, wait, you're saying the absence of an explanation. Hold on, I've let this go on too long. You keep saying that objective morality is dependent on a mind. No, objective morality is literally independent of the mind. So it would mean that it would be true regardless of what anybody thinks. So you don't even know what objective morality is and you're arguing for it. There's just a few things I want to touch on here. So first of all, you're essentially saying you don't have a principle, right? So I just haven't thought about how to articulate the answer to the questions, but this doesn't necessitate right, any form of a contradiction, right? I, I can just simply say that I don't see a contradiction between atheism and transcendentals, so God isn't necessary, right? Um, it's like for something uh, in logic, it doesn't even make sense to show why these would be true because I would presuppose logic and reasoning to do so. But essentially your claim is I can't produce a grounding for objective morality under yes, an atheist yeah. worldview, therefore <laughs> theism? That's stupid. Okay, so, 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 so if your worldview, so, right so this is what I'm not done talking. I'm not done talking. All that you're doing is you're making claims. You're okay. just making claims. Cool. Like so I'm if, just turning if, it on you. I'm just turning it on you. I want okay. you to actually provide an argument for your fucking claim that there would be a contradiction under the atheist worldview by explicitly stating it so. Give me the P in conjunct with not P. I I'm like, listen, I'm not your like standard fucking run of the mill or right, TikTok dumbass that doesn't know how to answer these questions. If you're going to make the explicit claim that a contradiction exists between transcendentals and the atheist worldview, you'll have to explicitly hey, Trina, state thank you so much for the 420. I appreciate so, you. Like, I'm simply not. I, I don't think he can because he yeah. knows he he thinks that these things are mind dependent. Therefore, he cannot okay. be he cannot believe in objective okay, can I, can I, okay so so if that atheists can't provide so, so, Dean, 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 if you, if you're saying okay, if you're saying, um, uh, hey, so yeah, you have this like theistic worldview of how these transcendentals can exist, right? And uh, I don't have a grounding for how they can exist. Um, Wait, but you in would, in because in one, one second, one second. But then you're saying he's to attacking me because he wants more cheese. But, 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 but one second, Dean, you're, you're saying you're right because I, you I can't. Pro one second, you're saying because I can't produce a contradiction. I'm not that saying that, bro. If your view does, if your view entails right that you have no grounding for your position, then it's a bad view. Wait, like, support that claim that atheists can't provide grounding for objective morality. Bro, it's not my job to do that. It's yours. It's your job you to explain to me how. Provide, you can't even provide. You can't 
Oh, lovely! Thank you so much for the Ferris wheel. W, lovely. Wait, Thank you no, so much. No, it actually is your job, right? I'm gonna ask you to stop <laughs> to, to stop shifting this burden of proof onto me and actually give arguments for your claims, bro. I, I know that you are not even used prove to this. That that Christians believe in objective morality because he believes that uh, the, that morality is mind dependent. He is a subjective morality. Like he yeah, is. I know, like, this Hold is on one sec. Y'all keep saying Ray's Q top. He's not even in the fucking guest request. I, I like this is really sad. I just want to point this out and don't interrupt me while I say this, Divine. Like this is really sad. You know what? You know it's like you, you, I bet you're so used to being able to make claims and then just get away with not providing arguments for them. I've provided you all of the information and in which is necessary to show how uh like the existence of objective morality doesn't necessitate the existence of your god that for being that it is not logically contradictory for transcendentals to exist under an atheist worldview right because when we're talking about logical necessities you're basically saying all else is impossible and because all else is not impossible this would not necessitate the existence of your god what particular part of this argument do you refute yeah, so it wasn't even supposed to be like a deductive argument, right? I wasn't using like deductive logic. I was more just trying to see if you can ground these things under your view. If you can't do that right, it's not my job to give a contradiction to that view. If you simply don't have a grounding for it, and you're just going to say, oh, well, give me a contradiction. I can't provide a contradiction that like, I don't know. Well, they're possible. Okay. No, no, okay. Unicorns are possible, right? That doesn't make them plausible. And if you're just going to die on the hill. What was like, your original claim? Well, one second. One, yes, I already conceded that they can be possible. Sure, whatever for argument, right? But I'm saying, if you're going to hold to the view that because they're logically possible, therefore I'm going to hold to this view, is just ridiculous. Unicorns Wait, are logically, one second. No, one second, stop. Business. Brother, let me respond. Unicorns are logically possible, okay? That doesn't make it plausible or a good view to say unicorns exist. Okay, it's stupid. If you're saying atheism, your argument is simply, well, I have no grounding. Wait, uh, yeah, I, I, think I have no like grounding. One second, one second. Wait, 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 Dean. Let him finish what he's saying real quick. You're Over saying, here. you're saying, you're saying, we have no grounding, but because you can't provide a contradiction, this is my view. That's wait, a I'm terrible not, so, view. That's a so terrible I'm just going to go and like sum this up for you. So first of all, I'm not a realist. I don't think that objective morality exists. I don't think that objective morality is plausible to exist, um, but I just think you're making like an equivocation oh! in the argument here. So wait, I just wait. So you okay. don't believe this exists, brother? But you only argued for it because you knew Dude, when you, you said. you don't believe when, it exists. Knew, no, either. I'm gonna. One I, second, can I just when, clear this no, up? When you said, brother, when you said earlier, I'm, no, I'm gonna go ahead and finish talking, bro. Original argument. Okay, go ahead and was finish. You're holding God to a moral standard which you have no grounding for. You don't even believe in objective morality. Then you try. Neither do you. Hey, yo, can then I like you actually try like, to finish? argue? Then you try to argue for how objective okay, morality divine, can exist, even I mean, though you don't hold to this view because you knew your original view. Wait, the you actually I do hold, hold to the view second. that objective morality can exist. Are okay, you fucking but you don't, stupid? You don't, you don't believe Is this it does guy exist. fucking stupid, dude? You don't you okay, don't believe I'm, it does exist? Okay, yo, divine, that's your I'm gonna, view, right? Oh my god, listen, I'm gonna go in and explain a, a couple of these things. No, to you. brother, you hold a second. You this if you're arguing for a divine, you could hop back in the guest request. <laughs> Dean, no! No one second, Divine, you could hop back in the guest request. Thank right you for the now. sub. I just I love need you, you to baby. calm down before you come back up. Like I'm legitimately trying to explain to you these concepts, but like when you're just like popping off like that, like it's just not gonna work. But hop back in those guest requests, brother. I, I just think it's insane that we're letting him sit here and say, like, you don't believe you're not yeah. even an objectivist, blah blah blah. Neither is he. He doesn't even know what objectivism is. He said that okay. it is dependent mm -hmm. on a mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, you so, want to, so Parker, you're down. Stop uh, I'm, me. Just, I'm just trying to explain this. Uh, Wait, here, can, I, can I say stop. one thing before I actually don't have time right now? Uh, Divine, you're just being really weird right now. He's just saying it can't exist. He's not saying it's plausible. He's not saying he holds to the view. He's saying it's possible. So you're mistaking him saying it's possible for him saying he holds to the view, right? Like itself. Yeah, that, that it's then it's intellectually oh, dishonest. Wait, for, uh, one second. One second. It's no, brother. It's do I, dude? I Divine, you, it's, like, it, no. D Divine, I can mute you. I'm literally. Divine, re-request, but like, I'm gonna start like, doing this. I don't have time. Can't... Yeah, Divine, you're being insufferable, man. So re-request now, but every single time you do this, you're just gonna get dropped and then brought back up. You need to learn how to calm yourself. Go ahead, Again, man. a difference between what can exist and what he's going to hold to himself and see as plausible, okay? So you asking him for the argument, right? And, and if he doesn't provide you an argument, there's somehow a contradiction with his view. That's incoherent, okay? Devon, you have literally no clue what you're talking about right now. And then also Edith was totally right, right? You would define it as a mind outside of the human mind. That's still compatible with anti with anti realism. And you didn't even realize it. It's hilarious. But yeah, I have to so, go. Love y'all. So, yeah, cool. He's Parker. Got, you, so, yeah, you got debunked by Mike Brigandi on veganism. But anyway. Bye Parker, I love you. <laughs>
So, uh, you, dude, wait, you so, were agreeing with me in the comment that? section. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm I was gonna... agreeing with you in the comment section when it was happening. <laughs> oh, nice so to I'm recognize gonna, my name, like, man. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and finish what I was saying here. So, Divine, just take a back seat. So, I just, I don't think that you're familiar with, like, propositional logic. I don't think you're familiar okay. with, like, what logical possibilities are. I don't even think you're familiar with, like, the argument in which you're trying to make. So you've kind of presented like two concepts to us. The first concept you've presented to us is uh, like the moral argument for God, basically assuming that objective morality exists. Therefore, your God exists. So do you know what it means for something to be like, do you know what it means for Y to be strictly entailed from X? Yeah, so um, like if... Okay. Yeah, yeah, so okay. so, so, so the concept to me. But, what does it mean but, for Y to be strictly entailed from X? Yeah, so before I just quickly go into that, can I just respond to... Um, Edith, you said that like it wouldn't be objective because like God would be a mind. Well, I would just say like because he's like the ground. No, of no, being. no. I'm saying you um, didn't know what uh, okay. objectivism is. Okay, okay. okay. And so I, I, don't, just, I don't know why you're trying to go back to my. No, I, I'm just. I, I just need to. I, I find it interesting right that it. Divine, I'm gonna need you to answer my question. Yeah, brother. I, I, I'm just saying, right? Arguments. When earlier you said it's a one v one, but then you've got Edith dropping all. What does it mean for why to be strictly? You're dropping. Arguments? Okay, you've got Edith dropping all. Okay. Divine, I'm gonna need you to just answer my question. What does it mean for Y to be strictly entailed from X? Are you just gonna keep muting me? Is that what you're gonna do? You yeah, because you're not answering you my question. You muted me over 70 times in 10 minutes, brother. 71, bro. Answer my question. What does it mean for Y to be strictly entailed from X? Okay, so can I respond? Yeah, please. Okay. Yeah. So, what's your question? Dude, are you brain dead? I, what does it mean for why? Why, why are you insulting me? Why, I asked you to restate <laughs> your statement, and now you're insulting me, brother. You know what's what funny, Dean? I've, for... Dean, 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 I have had you on. What does it mean for why? I have had you on my live many. Divine. All right, time out. Yeah, he was frigid in here. I never. Yeah, divine. I just, I, I feel like everyone just simmer down. All right. What is it? I, I just, just need an answer to my question, bro. What does it mean for why to be strictly entailed by X? Okay, so. I've had you on my panel many times. I never muted you. I never kick you. I never Divine, do any of these bro. games, brother. I don't insult you. Divine, what is it? Because you're on Tashika's platform, okay? Divine. Divine, Divine. First of all, you could. You choosing not to do so has nothing to do with us. Second of all, the immaturity, man. I mean, so, when I cry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all. Divine, what does it mean for Y to be strictly entailed by X? <sighs> yeah, so what, what, what does it mean if, 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 for, for Y to, to be strictly uh, until... What did you say? What does it mean for Y... Go ahead, sorry. What does it mean for Y mm -hmm. to be strictly entailed by X? Yeah, so like Y would be necessarily true if X is true. Okay. So... Okay, are you happy you have your response? You should just give me a bitch now. You're such a bitch, man. Uh, so oh my god, Divine! Without... Simmer down, man! Okay, okay. so... So, 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 Divine, you're right. So, if Y is strictly entailed by X, this means if X is true, Y is necessarily true. So, the moral argument that you've given for the existence of your God is that objective morals exist, therefore, right, your God exists, or a theist God exists, whatever. Mm -hmm. However, right, we could show that the existence of objective morals does not necessarily entail the existence of a God, as mm -hmm. it is logically possible for transcendentals to exist under a not god world are you okay. following up to hear this point so i would just say um if i say to you my grounding for these things is going to be like a mind aka god and then you're going to say to me it's it's logically possible but you don't have a grounding for why it's possible or how it's possible right if you and then you're going to say oh because it doesn't contradict the three classical laws of logic right but if you don't have a grounding then i would just say that position is is, is terrible you can't Wait, just say because it doesn't lead to a what is does 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 a unicorn creating the universe lead to a contradiction? So, divine, what is necessity? Does a unicorn creating the universe contra uh, is there a contradiction in that? No. So, what is necessity? So, would it would it be? Uh, would you, if somebody said to you, I hold to the view that um, a unicorn created the universe? So, divine, what, what is necessity? I'm trying to explain a concept to you here. What is necessity? Um, what's necessity? Are you asking? Yeah, bro. Yeah, I, I, I just like, don't like, understand these very basic. Um, I, I do. I do. I, I responded to your X Y client. I responded to everything you've said. What is necessity? Talk, I don't understand. Okay. Um, yeah. So necessity is just going to be something which is like a basically just like um, 
Like it's non-contingent, right? It was never caused. It's basically just it can't fail to exist. I would say like things like abstract objects, like numbers, exist this way. So, um, I'll, no. So when we're talking about like, um, like the modality of like necessity, right? We could, let's just let's just take uh, this approach on it, right? It means that it's going to be true in all possible worlds, or it's just not contradictory. So mm-hmm. if something is true in all possible worlds and not contradictory, then it is necessary. Right, but as we as we have demonstrated that transcendentals can exist under an atheist worldview, right? Therefore, it is not necessarily entailed that a theist God exists if objective morals exist. Right now, like I understand that you're now going to like try to make an argument out of plausibility, but as soon as we start talking about plausibility, we're no longer talking about uh, the the moral argument for God, and we could just simply reject the moral argument from God out of a notion. That if objective morality were to exist, it doesn't necessarily entail the existence of a theist god. Okay. Yeah. So, um, thank you so much for the, for the gift, whoever that was. Um, so, I would just say, um, when you say, uh, I, I made a statement earlier. I said for argument's sake, I'm going to say it's not impossible. But I, I think it, it actually makes sense if I went back on that and I actually said, yeah, it, it would be impossible. I only did like such one of the arguments progress. But, okay. So, what's the contradiction? Yeah, because like. Um, uh, premise one, uh, concepts are dependent on a mind. Uh, premise two, you're saying concepts exist without a mind. Conclusion, therefore, like it's 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 a contradiction, right? Because like something exists no, without no, having is, the, the necessary. It was something exists without having the so necessary can you things that it what needs a concept to exist. Is for me? A concept? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any like an exact definition. It, well, you're just saying glibber gooba, but glibber gooba labs. Right, exist on a I mind. can give examples of concepts. Wait, can I, like, can mor- I get some like, clarification? Like, on I, I, can give, I can give examples of concept, but I don't have like a direct definition. Wait, Devon, can I ask for clarification on something? Did you just say that like morals are dependent on a mind? Um, uh, yeah, the, the concept of morality. Okay, so you're a subjectivist. Thank you for playing. So, yeah, so like I would just say like if the like mind that I'm grounding these things in is going to be like the ground of all being, um, like... It's it's going to simply be like the highest, uh, the the moral arbiter, the highest authoritative figure, independent of human mind. Then I would just yeah. Say so it's you objective. don't believe in objective morality. Well, it's also unchanging as well. So like I would just say the fact that, that it's that unchanging. That doesn't matter. Well, well, it would matter, right? An unchanging standard, right? Which is which is the ground of all being, like would be objective. And if you're saying this isn't objective, right? Then I would say like what kind of standard would you be like be? So what what would you say it would have criteria it would have to meet to be objective? Objective Wait, means yeah. mind independent. That means regardless of what anybody or anything thinks, the mm-hmm. the case would still be the case. So if uh, let's just say that it's like mind independent, regardless of what anybody thinks, what anything thinks, murder mm-hmm. is wrong. Then uh, that is always going to be the case no matter what. It doesn't matter if somebody decides, no, actually, I think it's it's correct. It doesn't matter. You're still wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yes. you're arguing right now for subjective morality. You yeah, are a so moral I, I, anti-realist. I, I, I would ask you how uh, how would you like a uh, like describe like how an objective like what an objective truth is. If my definition doesn't satisfy you because God's a mind, therefore it's subjective. I, I what would did, be your I definition? Just told you. um, wait, so, so how, wait, how how do you ground like a, truth, how, wait, how, how do you believe objective truth? Why are you can still exist? talking? I, an objective truth is something that's going to be true regardless of anybody's opinion. Yeah, ground that. That's exactly what objective morality is. Okay, That's but you're critiquing the definition of an objective okay. truth. Okay. Yeah, divine. I feel like divine is like, that. yo. I, I feel like divine. You were like way in over your head, brother. So, um, you just asked Edith to ground what we mean when we say objectivism. And wait, wait, wait. Let me. I don't even know how she would answer. It. Like, what? What? You're, criti- no, you're critiquing my view that my view is just not way in over your head. Wait, 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 wait. No, you're saying he my asked, view leads to subjective morality. So I'm asking you're being how silly your right view. Now. I'm asking you, you to asked, define how could it be asked, objective. Why are you still talking? This is going to reduce you some asked, crazy shit. Asked, I'm talking. I'm talking. Is my mic on? Yeah. I'm sorry. Is my mic on? Because people keep talking when I'm fucking talking. Yeah, I'm talking. Anyway. So I, I'm talking. So I I thought, I thought, no, you're, I you're, you're yapping because you're silly. Hey, Divine, I thought it's, you I, came I thought up I'd here. You started yapping you. about how oh, okay. objective morality is oh, real, and so then you the didn't amazing. define objective morality correctly. So then, when I corrected you, you started giggling, hee hee ha ha, like a little mm-hmm. girl, mm-hmm. which is, you know, whatever. But then, 
you sit here and you say, what is an objective moral truth? I give you the definition and you said, ground that. <laughs> That's just how we fucking decided okay. the word is yeah. defined. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, so I, I, my point is, if you have a critique of how my view doesn't lead to like objective truths, I would ask you, how would you like say because like objective? Because your, what, what your be, view is dependent wait, can, on can I, can mind. Can I respond? Can I respond? Okay. No, because so, your view is okay. dependent so, so, on a so, mind. So, okay, so if my view like is problematic, right? What is uh, your view for like how uh, objective? I'm not morality? saying that it's what, what, problematic. What, what, what I'm would simply make, saying so, that it's wait, not wait, objective. Edith, Edith, can I can I ask you, Edith, what would make something objectively true in your view? I literally just told you. <laughs> Dude, yeah, what, what, if it is uh, always no, no, true, dependent, not dependent on a mind. Can you can you give an example of something which is always true independent of a mind? Uh, I'm not a moral objectivist, so. So you, no. wait, do you do you believe objective reality um, exists? Can I? Wait, no, one second, one second. What? Does objective we want to eat? Does does reality exist independent of the mind? Um, I I honestly don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a hard thing to. Ooh. You don't even know what fucking objective morality is, and you're one arguing second, for One second, one second, one second, brother. Y'all have saying, for, for one second. Okay, y'all have saying, ten no, no, more no, minutes just, of just, my time okay, left. Okay, you just said to me, okay, that oh well, your view, you can't be objective. It's subjective anyway. Then I asked you, does objective reality? I'm not exist saying it's subjective mind? anyway. No, I'm just no. saying that if your view is dependent on a mind, which it is. Okay, then you're okay, not an okay okay so my view does, isn't like okay my view is problematic but then you can't explain your view this is what you and dean both no, do I'm okay not saying that you don't have a view I'm one second one second you no, critique you, you critique you critique the it theistic worldview one, one second one second what exactly critique? do you think their fucking argument is no, like, like, they, they, he, they, he doesn't listen. know what he's okay. talking about can, <laughs> no, but, can somebody mute him because this is crazy I'm my, not my, saying I'm not saying that your view doesn't work and couldn't be probable blah blah blah. I'm simply saying that it is not an objective viewpoint. It is literally subjective. It is the it, it is uh, dependent on God's mind. Okay, so if you're saying this is an objective, but you can't even tell me uh, like what would make something objective? Because I don't then believe. How do you know, know that my view? My one second. Marbles, how do you know like, my view? Like, how how do you know that my right view? One second. How do you know my view? Is, like is problematic and doesn't lead to objective morality, but you can't explain to me because it's uh, what would lead to objective. Okay. If something's dependent on a mind, it is by definition subjective. Okay, yeah, so... Uh, is read maths, a book. Wait, is, 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 yeah, I've read more books. Crack is math open subjective? A dictionary. Is, wait, is, is math subjective? Can I, like, hop uh, in I don't know or... why you're asking. Wait, if, if, wait Edith, 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 no, Edith, you're literally Edith, just Edith, pivoting. Edith, 2 plus 2, no, I'm not, 2 plus 2 equals 4, is that subjectively true or objectively? Uh, objectively. Okay, so then you believe in objective truths. Okay, yeah, ground that. Explain how that exists. Ground it. Please do it. Come on. If you're going to critique my view of how it can't exist, you he tell me. Right oh, now. wait. You don't posit a view. You critique a view, even reading. though you have no grounding for your own view. That's what atheism is. It's a, coward, it's a cowardice view. It's embarrassing. Oh, that's funny, because it's the view that you hold. You it's hold an objective view. Oh, hey, we're going to critique your view. I mean, we don't have a grounding, but we're going to critique why your you're grounding. Like That's this bullshit, me, but not okay? Me. You don't have I think a there's a little bit of mommy issue you there. You don't um, have a grounding, but you're critiquing my and grounding. And neither That's do embarrassing. You. you don't even Wait, know what Wait, one second. Edith, called. why do you, you appeal to the laws of logic? Called. Why do you appeal to the laws of logic? Uh, why do you Dude, presuppose the laws of logic work? You're a fucking clown. You're a clown. I'm a clown? Why do you presuppose? Why do you presuppose the laws of logic work under your worldview? What are you even fucking talking about? Exactly, you don't even understand. You don't know what you're I talking about. I'm simply telling you that. You don't know you're... shit. What the? You don't fuck? know anything, okay? You're pretty. This guy definitely. Define. I think. I. Think. I don't I know what the fuck. An I would like. I would like love to talk to Divine here because uh, what all that he's doing right now is he's just like trying to like hinge on the fact that you, Edith, probably haven't explored, like, the transcendental argument for God before. Yeah, he's, he's just, acting like, in bad faith. He's geeking yeah, like, right that's now, exactly, bro. That's exactly he's what he's geeking. Doing. So I'm just, yeah, I'm just, I, I, was, I was simply just correcting him on what the definition of objective morality is. Okay. And bro so, said, wait, so, so, is 2 plus 2, 4? I'm gonna Edith, hop Edith, in here now. One second, you know, Dean wants... No, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in here now. The laws of logic... The laws of logic are necessary under my worldview. What's the fucking issue with that, Divine? So then you believe in immaterial laws of logic, but you don't believe in an immaterial... Uh, yeah, give me something which is immaterial other than... Absolutely. Give, the the laws of logic are immaterial and necessary. Yes, sir. Yeah. What's the contradiction? Yeah, so are the laws of logic dependent on the universe? Um, nope. Okay, yeah, so um, explain to me how laws of logic can exist without a mind. <laughs> how can they? Yeah, they're possible to exist and they're necessary. Explain how they're possible. 
Way to explain how they're possible? Not logically contradictory, sir. What's the contradiction, sir? I already explained. I just did it. So see, what, so see what I, I mean? I now he, now he doesn't know what the fuck to say. I think now it's he insane know what the fuck to that say. he's going to sit up here and argue but that I, objective morality is correct and he doesn't even fucking know what it is. He just said morality is is dependent on a mind. I, I really, I really want to, I really want to, I really want to explain like this concept real quick. So like the, I just gave him the defeater to like his entire argument so far. Right. All you have to say, right, these shits are necessary. They're not contradictory. I suppose them to axiomatically exist in the same way he would suppose God to axiomatically exist. So it's a lot of fun to do this to really cowardly theists that don't know who they're talking to. Now, I want to make it known. Theists legitimately, for the most part, reject this argument that he's running. It's called the transcendental argument for a god. Qtop was in the chat saying, I was making him look fucking stupid. You could talk to any theist apart from like a handful, and they will say that this argument is piss poor dumb. But see, what it is used by is really shitty, bad faith theists like Divine to dunk on people who are not familiar with it. Right, I'm like Edith. I'm guessing that you haven't like read like pages on the transcendent, transcendental Fuck argument. No, for I'm not a nerd. Or like how? Uh, yeah, you haven't been a fucking nerd in research. I know this. basic and definitions that, in that. Yeah, book. yeah, and then yeah, then divine takes the this idea that you know like the basic definitions of like these more um like on like on like regular uh philosophical topics in the context of like on ontology etc and he tries to use it as an argument but the thing is is it's just piss poor stupid the laws of logic are necessary there's no contradiction in transcendentals under the atheist worldview and your argument is fucking cooked because the existence of objective like uh, laws of logic or objective truths don't necessitate the existence of a god due to the fact that there's a possible world in which they are true under a theist un under an atheist god God. And then as soon as we start talking about plausibility of these things, I'd say that they're impossible to exist under the Christian God, because I believe that the Christian God is internally contradictory. Then on top of that, I would just say that these would be necessary. So what's the fucking counter argument now, bud? That's what I thought, bro. That's what I thought. You're um, fucking stupid. In the same way, you're not aiming. Edith Wait, and Colin no, no, I was, I was, hey, okay. I was, remember five I was, minutes I was ago responding. when he screamed at I was the responding. Person. My mic was... That I you don't know there. shit! You don't know shit! Yeah, because yeah, bro, that's I mean, exactly what even, I thought. Bro. Even Dude, Dean, that's crazy. Yeah, First I mean, I mean, yelling at a woman like that. Damn. Yo, Dean emojis in the chat right now. Dean emojis, bro. Yeah, come up here and call my friends dumb because they haven't explored the transcendental arguments and how we justify objective truths. Get fucking gagged, little bro. Go bro run your mouth oh. fucking somewhere else. And guess what? You know what? You just lost right all of your credibility to the people on TikTok that actually debate these things all of the philbros were absolutely clowning you in the comment section all of the theists were absolutely clowning you in the comment section all no, my q top, top disagree q top all my ops were siding with me that's q how you know top did he leave oh like no. I, dude like it's just it's just so unfortunate to see such a clown show you know what I mean? Just just remember, guys, the next time you have a theist try to run that Wait, wait. <laughs> I want to hear what he has to say, just really quickly. Why we would go. we? We got oh, two minutes, because I'm for the drama. Because I'm for the drama. You bitch. I did not leave, brother. You kicked me. You're a bitch, bro. Listen, listen. You you did your little preach. I'll listen to okay. him. Let him cope, guys. Let him cope. Dean, 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 you did Mute up, mute up, and let him cope. Okay, you, you, so you started preaching, okay? Um, <laughs> Why are you sitting right now? Was so, it that so deep? You, you start you started uh you started preaching, but then you didn't let me respond, you just kicked me. Um so I didn't call you the stupid, okay? You've insulted me over like fifty times, okay? You call me dumb, you've insulted everything I stand for, you've insulted me, okay? I asked Edith no if she's gonna say if she's gonna say like a uh, critique my view, I asked her to justify hers. And then you say, Well, Edith hasn't read the literature. Okay, well I presuppose that she has more than four fucking brain cells. I have apologize that i presuppose that she knew what she was talking about okay she's on to sheep is live all the time bro shut the fuck up you absolutely dumb christian don't come up here and get pissed off when you get dunked on by someone smarter than you don't I be talking about how many like supposedly brain cells she has don't be calling to a bitch you have fucked. i didn't call her a bitch i didn't i called stupid. you a bitch i didn't call Tashika a bitch you have spun out and now you look fucking stupid but what you're not gonna do is come up in here and be a misogynist 
narcissistic little fuckhead I'm to a- my friends. It's disgusting. Let's get some baby bottles in the chat, y'all. I'm not misogynistic, man. That's a lie. You're lying straight on my name. No, I didn't call you Shika a fact. bitch. I said, Dean, you were being a bitch because you were, okay? Because you preached and then kicked me. That's a bitch move, okay? You should have let me respond, okay? I just I'm- think it's interesting that you come up here and lie. I didn't no, give but, a critique but, but, of your view. I but, simply but, said you're but, not an objective. you couldn't respond, this- Edith... De- Dean had to swoop in there and go, well, Edith hasn't read the literature, okay? Dean, why do you feel there needs to be a white knight, okay, and try and say- A white knight! Oh! <laughs> You're a bitch, man. You're a bitch, man. You're so fucking crazy. You were bro, acting in bad faith. Bro, you have just no fucking- Yeah, yeah this, this makes me know that you have no fucking clue what you're talking about. You know how often this discussion goes? Literally what theists do when they're talking to an atheist that they don't like, that they don't think they're as smart, is they'll mm-hmm. run the same argument even though they know it is piss poor stupid. Mm-hmm. But you are just wow, a thank you so much candy for the email message. W candy. So you're just figuring so out much. what the transcendental argument for God is, mm-hmm. and you have no fucking, ch- no idea on how to respond to an actual intellectual when they explain on how it's not a good argument, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Under an atheist worldview and account of reality, these things would be necessary, and these mm-hmm. things would be mind independent. If you're saying that it's contradictory mm-hmm. that they'd be mind independent under an atheist worldview, you'd have to support the positive claim by giving me the contradiction. Guess what? What? You can't give the contradiction, so then you'll pivot away and talk about some other dumb <laughs> shit and run your mouth and call my friends dumb, and it makes mm-hmm. you look dumb. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put I mean, it. You very called it dumb. Plainly. Wait, you called it dumb. Point blank. Okay. You no, called it dumb. Call yes, you dumb. did. You, you just said did I call you dumb. Uh oh. You said no, because, you, you, you said came you in here. You stated a fact that I have not read the literature. Okay, and, and then when I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> and yeah, you I called her dumb. dumb. You said if she, you, you expected her to have more than four brain cells. Yeah, because she came in and insulted my view. That's why. Being as charitable as possible, I called you a nerd. That's what I did. Being as charitable mm. as possible, I said that Edith isn't a nerd. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Edith said that herself! That was my, <laughs> you know, those were my own words. Also, I didn't say anything about your view. I was simply saying that you're defining a word wrong, and therefore, okay. how are you going to defend objective morality if your view isn't even objective? Okay, but I explained to you it's how I think fact. it would be. A, it's not a critique. I, I, it's a okay. fucking fact. Okay, okay. So I explained to you like why it would be objective, and you couldn't explain to me like how oh objective reality or objective so truths could even again, exist. I Edith, 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 let me respond. Edith, can I respond? No, no, no. Oh, I did. Me respond. Respond. Listen, buddy. he's so bad faith. I did. I gave the defeater, and he won't fucking respond to no, it. I, I he won't fucking respond, respond to it. Divine, because stop he'd, being he'd a fucking he'd rather try to be misogynistic. Respond to you instead. Okay. So, yeah, I already said, right, the problem is, is these, like, transcendental laws of logic that you presuppose work. Why are you going to have no justification that they work under an atheist worldview? Because your brain's going to be the result of a blind evolutionary process. You are, you are simply slime, okay? There's no reason <laughs> to trust, true. there is no reason to trust that your brain, okay, will tell you the truth about logic, math, or any of these things. You have no justification under atheism, okay? First point. Second point is, Wait, what is if I, if I, one second, he is if so I, lost. one second, if so I lost. can't say to you, okay, about where the contradiction words. is, and then you just say, oh, it's possible. Yeah, unicorns are possible. That doesn't make them likely. If somebody said what unicorns created possible? the universe, you would say that that's ridiculous. You clown on people who hold views that are possible. You clown on people for the same thing, but then you commit the same thing you accuse people of doing, right? So tell me where the contradiction is in, in the Christian God. Go ahead, try and do that. Oh, holy shit. Okay, that's, so that's I'm going to... literally I'm gonna, the easiest I'm gonna, thing you ever asked me lost. to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and like just respond to that first amount of gibberish. You said that, like, we can't, like, trust our knowledge, we can't know truth. Um, are, yeah, are you a skeptic theist? Sure. The you are? Is getting so you worse. think that God could have some morally compelling reason, right, uh, Some uh, that he has access to that we don't, um, that means that all things considered the Holocaust should have occurred for, for the greater good. Uh, what, is it possible for God to have morally compelling reason to make our cognitive faculties unreliable? Uh, yeah, sure. That would be a that would be a, like. Okay, I have so a you don't know that like, your cognitive faculties are reliable. So, so, Good fucking yeah, shit. Yeah, so, Good, so, you so, fucking walk the brain. Like I don't know why you guys so, keep so, making that argument. It can be used in the same fucking so, context so, as so, you. Like, yeah, Good I, I, I would just, why do you guys keep doing that? I, I would just say like if I have like a like I was. I don't if you think had you more than will. four brain cells, you'd be yeah. able to do that easy. Yeah. Well, I would just say, like, I don't think you can have, like, free will under atheism either, right? Because you don't have, like, an immaterial soul, which is unaffected okay. by chains of material causation. Okay. But let me respond. Wait, wait you know what I want to do? One, one second, Dean. Wait, one second, Dean. So, you know um, what I want to do? Damien, pop up here, bro. Wait, D- Dean, 
Dean, can no. I, uh, can I, can I, can I, can you, can you, uh, It is 204! Can, can you explain to me why the contradiction Let Tishika go, God? let Tishika go. Why, why won't you explain right. to me the Christian God, Dean? Why won't you explain to me why it's contradictory? Bro, go to, go to Dean's Dean, live after Dean, this. Dean, explain to me why it's not Dean. contradictory. We're tell me, tell me, why, tell me why it's not contradictory. Dean, tell me why it's contradictory for the Christian God to exist. Go yeah, do you think that the Holocaust should have occurred? Yeah, so I think that God's, uh, um, the, the best way for God to display his attributes in the universe is by displaying all of, all of his attributes. Wrath, judgment, love, mercy, and the only way for him to display all these attributes is if evil exists. Yeah, ask your God to give yeah, me all, all, all things considered, all things considered, it's, uh, everything's perfect, yeah. So, oh. so I, we could just go and say that the Holocaust should have occurred? Uh, under, like, uh, God's view, like, for him to defeat, for him to be glorified when defeating evil, yes, it should have occurred, because him defeating evil is more moral. Yeah. Okay, okay, uh -huh. well, correct. And then now, when, and, now, and now when you say, oh, wait, but that, that's so wrong, but you have no justification for why it's wrong, so we so go what is, back, wait, we go I, back. So you're saying that, wait, I have a question here. So, no. if I break into your house tomorrow, right. stay your and, place, and unalive your entire your post, family, should that have occurred? If you break into my house tomorrow, and unalive my entire family. Well, yeah, God would be glorified when he defeats you and like punishes you for it. Uh, that's not what I, hey, Divine, that's not what I asked you, man. Uh, should that have occurred? If I break into your house and unalive your entire family, should that have occurred? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you anyway, you're just sick. You just, you're just a sick human being, dude. So, like, so, I don't, I don't so, care. So, I don't oh care how logically God. consistent you are. You're just fucking sick. So, 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 so if you can't provide the logical uh, issue, Oh yeah, right. We can look fucking stupid, buddy. So I demonstrated to him how skeptic theism leads to global skepticism, so he can't truly really trust his uh, rational faculties. And then I got him to say that I should unalive his family. Um, and then yeah, on my life, bro, uh, when I go live here in a minute after I get lunch, I'll go ahead and get you to concede on a bit more. In fact, there's actually a Christian in chat that I'm going to have you talk to about the transcendental argument for God. I don't know. I just love like mogging uh, on these like really dumb theists. Like I'm just smarter than him. Like that's just the point. That's just point blank. Period. <laughs> Dan, are you going to get lunch or are you going live right now? Well, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get lunch. I mean, you could just end. Um, okay. I, I, I know. I was planning to get lunch like an hour ago. But then I just ended up hanging out up here. here. So. All right. Well, everyone, we're going to end it here. Uh, amazing life. Amazing life. Um, that was fun. I love bullying those really dumb fools. Drama in Minecraft, TikTok. Anyway, so drama. Drama. Right. But yeah, I have to go to my piercer. Right. Um, but I will be seeing you guys later today. Thank you to my elite employees. Thank yo, you. Yo, yo, yo. Q, -t Q Top just told Divine to go study. Damn. Uh, you're, cooked. Damn. you're cooked, bro. Okay. Well, that is. Uh, what? What? We're yeah. only living in the upside down. I know. I don't. I feel like I'm in a whole other dimension. I, that, that just like triggered my dissociation. That's how wild that was. Um, but yeah. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank you, Dean. Thank you, Edith. Everyone, follow Dean. Turn on the bell because he's going to go live soon. Um, and follow Edith. Follow me. Period. But yeah, I'm going to end it here, y'all. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.